We are here to celebrate because I don't know if you guys know, but at the weekend, Ace Trenalium placed higher in a national, an international tournament than friend of the channel and three times regional champion, Jamie Boy. He came 974th and I came 932nd. Let's go. That's progress, baby. Hell yeah. Because Jamie, uh, basically, it's all it's all memes. But basically, because Jamie went zero and four, and then dropped and like took his name out of the pool so that nobody got a bike, then um, he technically placed lower than people who went zero and nine because they did more matches. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Fucking love Boyt though. Boyt's a good lad, and I love him. And it's just it's all just memes and very funny. No, I mean, but he made a great video on it. Loved it. So go watch that later. But first of all, I got to thank the wonderful people that kept the channel alive while I was away. Yes, indeedy. So join me in saluting the wonderful Ace Trainer Ultras, who are Heavy Metal Mew, Sam Akadi, Typhlosion Shogun, Rachelin, uh, Vixillation, Heliolisk Map, Poninator, Coordinator Kia, uh, John Glover, Levy of Champions, Tactical Dilly, Glenn, Ace, Instinct, Adrius Vale, Nikki Park, Alex the 8T, Sophie Jane, Nora, Malachi Dees, and Middle Earth Troll. And then double those salutes for the big boys, the Ace Trainer Ultra Excels, the wonderful handsome bunch that ride the Ace Train in first class. They are Bro Metapod, Purple Dragon Air, Toy, Bonnie, Gear, Overlord, Mumbai, Cobra, Night Angel, Gamer Guy, Mike, Cap, Rider, Blue, Malamu, and Bogey Taker. Thank you all. You're all dead good. Bloody hell. Is this Pokemon Sword and Shield? This is terrifying. Yeah, man. Wolfie. Wolfie was very close, man. Very close. Uh, Non-shady question. <laughs> did you come last out of... Did you come second to last out of everyone? No. Because the person that I beat, uh, Chris Almond, he was the person who went 9-0. and So I was above him. No, but I just told you I was 932nd out of 974. So how could I come second to last? Amlian's got news. What's your news, Amlian? Oh, Matt gets salutes in chat, please. 20 months. What's this? 20 months? How you ain't sick of me is just insane, or dare I say, crazy. Very I good. was crazy once. Stop it. Anyways, keep being awesome. Love why apostrophe all colon underscore at love colon underscore at love. Hell yeah. I love speaking in tongues at the end. Thank you, Matt, for 20 months. I'm being an ace trainer ultra now. Ooh, saucy. Didn't hear the whole number. WrestleMania was fucking banging. I still haven't watched day one. I've watched day two, and we were going to watch day one when we got home yesterday, but we got home later than expected. I blame you for my current situation. What have I done? Not I mean. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have that weird battle playlist on that has the slightly higher pitched battles on. Uh, I did a side event behind Wolfie. Damn, bro. I probably got the VGC bug. That's not my fault. You went to EUIC. You knew what was gonna happen. You knew what was gonna happen. Uh, Amlian said, "Where was it? I officially have a boyfriend. And we kissed on the weekend. Ooh, get some hype for Amlian. Let's go. Did I finish my story? I certainly finished a story." Was it for you? Wouldn't it gone? Oh, that, that warms my jimmies, that does. It was a banging time, though. Mate, that final. Mate, nils in that final, predicting every fucking moment. It was crazy. Uh, where's that weird Pokemon Battles playlist that I have? I've got some other music I'll be probably using soon, but... Membership alerts, I'll do my 19 months. Oh, Podinator! Thank you, thank you. Since we are doing membership alerts... Here's my 19 months. Trying to think of a good pun for the occasion. I do have one about a sniper, but it's kind of a long shot. Very good. Thank you, Poninator, for the beautiful 19 months. Thank you for being an Ace Trainer Ultra as well, my dude. Salutes in chat, please. Nils in the final, then nuke in the stream by dropping the S-bomb. It's right. Uh, thought you might want to know. Picture we mean you is now my lock screen. Oh, decrepit. It was great meeting you, my dude. Great suit, Pokemon UFC. I was the Ash and Red cosplayer. You took my picture. I did. I did. Also be happy with the result. All to improve. Months. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's almost Ooh. two years. Hell yeah. Thank you, Arazushi, for that beautiful 20 months. It is almost two years. Hell yeah. One day I'll be Siri Battle Champion. You're right. Uh, Levy, catch up. Still got WrestleMania hangover. I mean, let's not... Let's, you know, Dragon Ball God. Let's, let's be careful, because some people haven't watched WrestleMania yet. 
That into your nils is amazing. And then Pokemon never having to do this before. We're like, what do I do? Mate, same, Marty. Same. Uh, right, so. Old school Dynamax adventure rules apply. You can join. It's first come, ser first serve. If your internet is shit and you don't get in, that's not anyone's fault. But if you get successfully into a Dynamax adventure and we go to the end and we defeat the Lunala at the end... You are then not allowed to join the next one because that would make you a prick. Yes, we're using the OG code. So, uh, exclamation mark DA in the chat. Moderators, I think, can use that command so that people don't spam it. You know what I mean? I have some news to announce. Go on, Danny D. Right, so, and make sure you're connected to the internet or you're not going to connect. <laughs> but yeah, if you get into one, don't use it. Mate, it made me laugh so much yesterday. Oh, I'll wait till Glenn's salutes come through. Salutes for Glenn. Salutes for Glenn. Oh, mine's not as long as the first guys. Ah, uh, very good. Thank you for the 19 months, Glenn. Get some hype for Glenn. Ace Trainer Ultra in the chat. Salutes, please. Uh, what was I going to say? I've forgotten. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I was going to say... No, it's gone. Oh, fuck. What was it about? What was it about, do we think? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, what was it? It was... I think it was really important. I don't think they'll ban him. I think they'll just... They should at least give a warning. Just, like, be careful. Internet, because you've been away, I've not kept you updated on my internet-related drama. Oh, boy. Let's go. Use a mix Pokemon. I like and ones I don't. Good shout. Good shout. Oh, Danny D's engaged, lads. Congratulations, Danny D. Let's go. Hell yeah. My, my WrestleMania thoughts are oh, WrestleMania was absolutely fantastic. Loved it. Loved fucking all that I've watched. I've not watched day one, though, but I'm going to later at some point. I watched Raw, though. That was good. It was a good roar. How are you and Sophie today? Hope all is well. We good. Find some radio. Love watching it while I was go while I was getting off. Oh, of work, not at work. <laughs> I was gonna say, holy moly, that's a very different sentence. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it though, Barjan. I'm so warm. Hello, Rach. By the way, don't worry. I haven't missed. I haven't not noticed you, Rach. I nearly said I haven't missed you, but I have missed you because I've been away for a few days. But I haven't missed you today in the chat. If that makes sense. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what was I going to say before? Something about Dynamax Adventures, probably. Uh, but the boy, TM, Dragonite, Primarina, Ogre Pond, Fire, Rillaboom, and deciding on a sixth Mon. Ooh, use Iron Pants. Uh, if you work from home, do you technically get off at work? Depends if you're on the clock. We're both thinking about Lunala for Reg G. Well, I'm thinking about it because one thing I've needed for a long time is a Trick Room Mon. And I didn't want to get rid of a Wide Guard Mon. Really, and I'd like more wide guard mons because wide guard is going to be the most important move in the meta going forward uh, because of Calyrex and Calyrex and Groudon and Kyogre and all the other spread move wankers. So Lunala gets both wide guard and trick room, so it's a no brainer. Uh, it's probably replacing Vika Volt, who's replacing our Chaladon. You were going to complain that Sunslash deserves a third Evo. Why? So it could be even shitter on a bigger level. I'm good, Toku. How are you doing? Off a new job, which I accepted and entered into a new relationship. Oh, congrats and congrats, Sonny. Good lord. That's me. It's all It's all looking up for Sonny. Holy moly. Reaction proposal was so cute. She's shocked and said, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Hello, man. I'm all right. How are you doing? What was I going to say? Oh, it don't matter. Um, it was probably... Oh, basically... This isn't what I was going to say, but it's important. I'm looking for a zero speed Lunala. So basically, if it has, if I get to the end and I check the summary screen, and it has a speed reducing nature, and its speed stat is, I believe, if its speed stat is 126 at level 70, because that's the level it will be when we get it, then that's the one we want. If it has a neutral nature when it comes to speed, then we want the the speed to be 140. And I haven't checked if it has an accidental speed increase nature. So let's do that real quick. Uh, 154 if it has speed up. So I need to make a note of that. Absolutely. Honestly, I will say this. When it comes to like curse words in chat, guys. If you're not comfortable posting the curse word, just use a different word. <laughs> like, don't post it censored. Why would you do that to Paul Lunala? Because it needs to function in Trick Room. That's the point. <laughs> and making your Pokemon fast when you're running them in Trick Room is the biggest dumb, 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 dumb you can do. Having a Shadow Shield Pokemon with a Mental Herb that can set up Trick Room is kind of broken. 
You seen the stats on Lunala? There's a reason it doesn't have great speed. Right, let's go. Just remember, there you go. We got Josh in. The code I'll put in chat is 36363639. Probably too late, though. <laughs> Deal with the old internet provider. Ends in May and goes up massively. I cancelled next week. It won't get charged in May. Found a deal elsewhere. The route arrived on Saturday. Ooh, here we go. Look at that. We're right in. And that's bloody bro Metapod. That last one. I know that. I remember that icon. <laughs> that's bloody bro Metapod. Remember, Lunala has Ghost and I... I think it just has Ghost and Psychic moves. No, I think it just has... I think so. Maybe it has Moonblast as well. So, you know, just be careful. Uh, I'm going to take Nido King for now with a plan to get rid of it. First time here. How you doing, King VVS? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll check Cerebi. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It's rem What type is it? Ghost and uh, Psychic. So it is four times weak to both Ghost moves and Dark moves. So if you can find a Pokemon with a Ghost move and a Dark move, we are laughing. Or, or a dark move, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, 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 where's that list of rental Pokemon? That's it, rental Pokemon. And then it's got the legends at the bottom, Lunala. So we were at our friend's house yesterday that live around the corner. Hang on, I'll tell the story in a minute. Yeah, it'll have Shadow Ball and Moonblast and Swift as its attacking moves. So basically, don't worry about psychic type attacks. Like, you can go in with poison types and you'll be kind of okay. In fact, you'll resist some shit. Obviously, normal types are great because you don't have to take Moonguy's Beam. Oh, it does have Moonguy's Beam, by the way, on top of Shadow Ball and Moonblast. You no, know, Dark Type Subject sneezes on it so much it dies, apart from the first turn. Oh, Danny D's got a Union Circle if anyone wants to farm BP. What team did you use? What team did I use? I used the team I've been practicing with. Oh, well, mostly the team I've been practicing with. I used. Pelipper, Polyrath, Araquanid, Raichu, Weezing, Archaladon, and I fucking, mate, Archaladon was the biggest piece of shit ever. Every situation I got in where it was like, oh, I really should uh, switch out into another Pokemon, I'd have Archaladon in the back and be like, that's not a safe switch, I can't make that switch, fuck. Have you read mod chat since last Tuesday? No, I'll be completely honest, I probably haven't. Uh... Uh, Gizmo gave me a heads up on something, but I don't know if it's f if it's what you're referring to. Nilla goes down if a ghost looks in her direction, only if it's not turn one, or if she's back at full HP somehow. Uh, took it till today and a tech coming out to get it working, because apparently they need to hook a wire up and hadn't done that before. That's a priority tech uh, appointment, because I'm disabled, right? I think I'm following. Uh, cool, Chansey's going down. The Awo Lolan form is alright. I feel it deserves a third Evo by now. I mean, remember my rule, my rule of thumb, Glenn, is that no Pokemon is capable of deserving anything because they're fictional programmed characters. So, they, they can't deserve. What you're saying is you want it to have a third Evo. You don't have to sugarcoat it and say that it deserves it. What you're saying is, is that you would like it to have. Uh, I'm good, Lars. How are you doing? Uh, keep it the good work. I'm glad you have fun at the tournament. Now to lurk in the neck ground. I don't know what that means, but have fun, Sean. <laughs> Shiny Tyrog and Raichu, nice. Metromania was wonderful this year. I really enjoyed it. Might be my favorite season we've done. What was your best buy and favorite moment? Uh, my favorite moment was that one win that I got because that was crazy. Actually, no, my favorite moment was in a side event when someone had set up their Archaladon to plus four with beat up and uh, taking a hit on switching. And then my Polyrath used close combat into it and crit. So it one shot. <laughs> I was like, yes. I had to look up at the guy and go, I'm so sorry. Amma, I've met you before. But I saw you. You were definitely there. And you definitely had the fit. Did you all like my John Cena cosplay UIC? It was amazing. You, you cosplayed as the man we can't see. Uh, we'll go Muscle Band. Oh, the new rule is we can't choice ban Polyrath because choice, choice, deciding to make Polyrath choice banned at the last minute is one of the many reasons why I struggled so much. Is because he needs protect to protect him against fake out. Otherwise, he just dies, and uh, or I just can't bring him. And then not having protect really screwed me. 
They're both shinies I never got. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, WrestleMania was fucking mental, mate. I want Eevee to get a Mega in Legend Zio, which makes not evolving a miracle ball viable. I mean, that's basically what they did with Dynamax Eevee, right? What do you think of Pokemon Legends ZA? I don't know, mate. I've not played it. Uh, just started a grass shiny sandwich and shiny chestbin appears. Nice. Hold on. The game I dedicated my life to isn't real. Have I wasted the last 30 years of my life? Nah, you met Kim. So, you know. Swings and roundabouts. A few things about ESO, me and I'm trying to work out why people are shouting at the TCG. Yeah, like, what card is that? Is that good? I saw someone bringing a fur to EUIC. Mate, someone brought a Greedon. Someone against me. And they did win. Because I was not ready for this setup, was Ganlon Berry Stuff Cheeks Greedent. So it uses Stuff Cheeks and gets plus two defense, then eats its Held Berry, which is a Ganlon Berry, which increases its defense another stage, and then it uses Body Press and go brrr. And I was like, oh, okay. Not me. Hello, Purple Dragon, how are you doing? Me and Gibbs went was a state. Like, watching the show in a different language with subtitles. Amazing. I regret not going, though. I was talking to Matt on Wednesday, and he sent links to some tourneys to get me used to the environments. Yeah, that's a good shout, my dude. I want to do some locals. I might have a look at the Nottingham scene and see if I can get over there sometime. Because that's probably my closest. Metapod, great looking at your pick on Instagram. Wait, 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 what? I feel like I'm missing a, a fun joke. Beware the squirrel, apparently, yeah. We're trying Zamazenta. Mate, Zamazenta gets wide guard, and it's a bulky baby. And it doesn't get screwed over by Dynamax. It's just a shame once you switch it out, it can't get the Intrepid Shield boost, or whatever it's called. Barely select these four nights because of wrestling. I'm not surprised. Uh, catch it. I'll go for this one in a luxury ball. Why not? Shiny Mewtwo. Go on, mate. Love some sort of stream today. Uh, kind of having a shit day. Oh, can we get some love for Steve in the chat, please? Why are you having a shit day? How can you how can you be having a shit day being so incredibly handsome? Hey, British birdie! How are you doing, my love? I've got a KFC cookie here as well. Hey, hey, underscore at love. Hey, hey, indeed. Underscore at love, indeed. Uh, Matang would actually... Uh, it wouldn't be decent for Lunala, actually. I don't think we should take this because it's weak to Moon Guy's Beam and Shadow Ball. Personally, but... Oh, Chansey got Bright Powder. Kind of cool. Anything good lately in Pogo? I did get a shiny Diglett on the way home from EUIC. And I got something else. Uh, hang about, hang about. Do, 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 do. Where the fuck are all my thingy bobbies? Uh, that one. Oh shit, that's spelt wrong. Okay, uh, let's go to maybe, maybe the ghost or the backpacker, I don't know. Oh, Nido Queen's kind of cool. It's got boobies. Uh, hang on, I'm just messaging Sophie. She's asked me to put the boiler on. I'm sending Bean on since you left, because it has been, because she's gone to the gym like a smart bean. Uh... Uh. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I need to pick a move. Sophie's not around. Well, she'll be back in a bit. Like, she doesn't go to the gym for the entire stream. She's not fucking... She's not The Undertaker. <laughs> I don't think The Undertaker spends that long in the gym these days. Who thinks I find annoying about Scarlet Violet? Sometimes I don't even run into a Pokemon as soon as he starts a battle. Yeah, sometimes they catch you. Uh, Bagon Community Day, I, I like, half arsely played, and, um, I got four, so now I've just got four wasted spaces in my box. <laughs> Yay! The Psychic was Malamar, gutted. Do you feel about skeptical about trying PewDiePie flavor? Why are you skeptical about trying Lingonberry? It's fucking amazing. It's like a sour cranberry. Mr. Dragon I hit a rough patch lately, been working through it in a healthy way. Oh, my dude! Can we get some love for Dragonair in the chat, please? Hope you work through that, my dude. Du, 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 du. How you doing, Scott, May? Nice to see you. Good lord, everybody's in today. I should go away for a week more often. <laughs> Goddamn. 
Today is first day I felt like eating, not eating since Friday because chest infection. Oh, well, I hope you get well soon, my dude. Also, I hope you all get G Fuel and use code ACE. Good lord. Don't I dare? Dare what? Have you seen Sophie and The Undertaker in the same room at the same time? I've seen her in the room when Undertaker's been live in a on TV. I'll go away for a week more often. But he had a shit weekend. Oh, my dude. Mate, I got fucking stressed on um, these lot were salivating Discord without you. Amma, you can include yourself in, in that. It's fine. <laughs> Should we sell Galeo and now I hate it's my least favorite legendary since then? Oh, shit. It's a deep fake of The Undertaker. Do, do, do. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I got well stressed at the weekend. Not because of the battles or anything. But, um... But basically, like, in the evening, trying to organize, like, I, I booked I booked a meal for our friendos that we don't get to see very often, and they, it, it, they just added more and more people, like, can these guys come? Can these guys come? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. So in the end, I go to this fucking place, and I'm like, I'm really sorry. I know I booked a table for 16, but can we push it to, like, 18? And then it's like, oh, actually, maybe 19. I didn't invite too many people. There were people there I didn't invite, but they were lovely, so it's fine. Thank you for dynamaxing. Uh, I got my Liam fixed the weekend. I bet you did. I bet you did. It's fine, Emma. You were rocking it. You were rocking the fro. I originally heard eight people. I mean, that would have been ideal. Eight is a good number. On the Sunday night, we had eight people, and then ended up being nine, because we actually forgot that when we counted the number of people that were present, that Ed was on his way. <laughs> But it's fine, he got a chair on the end, it was great. We should 90 people to hang with. Well, no, honestly, hanging with not, hanging with 18 other people at once is not as great as you think it is. Because basically, it meant that, like, Luke and Callum and Patters, who I haven't seen for ages, were just at the other end. I didn't, I didn't really get to talk to them a lot. Obviously, I talked to them in the event and stuff, and I talked to them, like, in the evening, like, after, after dinner. But at dinner, I just didn't see them. Already got exposure, which is on the big screen, and everything. Mate, it looks baller, especially with that fucking white shirt thing. That was cool. That was killer. Can't remember fully, but I did tell you completely blanked patterns. I think you said you didn't realize it was him at first. So that's my idea of hell, eating with too many people. Mate, even Josh, you know, like Marty, you know, Josh, like always confident all the time. Josh was like, bruh, I might not stick around actually because I'm really fucking overwhelmed. <laughs> but luckily he did stay, but like even he was like, this is too many people. <laughs> And I was like, I only have three days to see everyone. Man. And there was a waiter at Nando's that stacked all the plates up to here and then walked away with them and said he'd be fine after we said, are you going to be okay? I didn't catch that. Whoops. And then dropped all of the plates. Like, we heard him drop all of them. Love wearing my whites. <laughs> that could be a euphemism. <laughs> Sounds like my idea of hell, eating late with too many people. It was all right. I had a good time. Uh, a PhD program rejected me earlier. Just sent me an automated email to confirm my rejection. Thanks, guys. Very cool. Oh, my dude. What happened with the other... Have you found about the other two yet? That Nando guy had a smashing time. Right. Well, to be fair, Glenn, you could see an age divide between the group because half the group who I guess haven't worked in retail or anything like that, or service, were like, way! And then those of us, like, elder millennials who have worked in retail and service went, oh. <laughs> so it was like, well. Because <laughs> we were just like, man, that sucks for him. I feel bad. Liam, that's a terrible euphemism. What euphemism did I use? Learn Spanish on Duolingo. Currently have 38 day streak. Bueno! There you go. And this is gracias. You better say to Dragonite won't listen to me. Why don't you train it better? Why don't you get more badges? Oh, I've read this. I hate the year and exactly what you mean with the age thing. Yeah, right. Oh, heck. Man, I, 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 the annoying part is, um, 
I updated my I updated my team. To be fair, I had a really fucking hectic day because we got in we got in for badge collection on Thursday night two minutes before the security guards were about to stop people going through. So like, really cut it fine because we had a lot of content to catch up on and finish off on Thursday morning. Oh yeah, yeah. I was I was referring to a a, a man a man <laughs> a man you're quite familiar with. Named after fondue. I did see the raw after mania. That's why I'm very tired. It was good. I enjoyed it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So we got there late. It was super hectic. We had dinner, and then we. Uh, I was like testing. Well, I still hadn't decided by about ten o'clock at night what I wanted. <laughs> Speaking of whites, thirty minutes after I touched down in Nottingham, tell me I got the M word immediately because you went to Nottingham. There's your first mistake. <laughs> They go so far, it's all right. A bit hectic, but we're getting there. Lots to do. Lots to continue on. Chansey, oh my god, please be on our team. Thank you. <laughs> I can tell it's about a man, right? Naughty, naughty. But yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, it's fine. The whites look fly. It looked fly, mate. Don't worry. Uh, and I could say fly because I grew up in the 90s. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh my god. Oh yeah, so basically, I was working on my team until the early hours of the morning, and uh, I submitted the final version of my team to the online system for registration at 5.30 in the morning on Friday, which is a bad idea because it's better to have slept well. So we made a new rule now for when we go away, which is on the travel day when we go away, I am not allowed to do work. Which, I mean, this week would have meant no Metromania, no Siri battles, but I just need to get my head in gear. We are thinking of doing more regionals. We were talking to Pumpkin Amy, and she was basically saying that, um... She was basically saying that Stuttgart Regional is a really easy one to go to, because it's like £80 flight return. <laughs> And I'm like, fucking hell, it's normally like 90 to to £100 to get the train to London. So, that's fucking insane. Obviously, it depends on what, you know, what airport you're going from. But, it's kind of baller. So, I might, I might do the next Stuttgart Regional whenever whenever that is next season. I'm not going to be going to any other Pokemon events af until after Worlds now. But, I want to do some Regionals. How's the weather while we travel in? Oh, I don't know. I was in a car the whole time. <laughs> so, it was, it was fine. How's your week been? Mate, it's been lovely. I've been at EUIC, baby. Oh, yeah. Ta I think Taser said sorry for being absent. But, mate, I've been away all weekend. So, I I'll be honest. I have not noticed because I've not been live. But I hope you're doing okay, my dude. Life is way too freaking expensive, man. You're absolutely right. Oh, side note, by the way, all you bastards. I will say, speaking of Manon, don't worry, Manon, you're not in trouble. If anything, this is this is Liam on your side. Can we, like, I know we have memes now and again of, like, like I'll, I'll joke about how Manon might be going on about something a bit. But can we not pile on in the fucking Discord? Because I've seen shit in our Discord and I don't like it. Like, it's tantamount to fucking bullying and I don't want it, right? You can have memes where it's like, you know, give each other a bit of banter. But when it's just one person and there's like fucking six of you going at that one person, it's no longer a funny meme. It's you're just bullying someone. So can we fucking stop that shit? Like, we've, I've had mods do announcements about it. The mods have done announcements of their own accord. And we've mentioned it before. But I'm, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm actually saying something out loud for your fucking ears now because I'm actually getting fucking sick of it. Because I know Manon hasn't said anything and he hasn't been like, yo, Liam, can I talk to you? Like, this shit's bothering me a bit. But he hasn't said anything like that. But if I was Manon, I'd be starting to get fucking bothered. Like, I'd be annoyed. So can we just be fucking nicer to Manon in general? Like, there's banter and he could take jokes, but just... Don't fucking pile on, because, because, and, and this isn't just to Manon, by the way, this this counts to anyone, like, let's say Lemia said something a bit silly, and then everyone went, wait, 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 but it kept fucking going, let's say, uh, I'll use Taser, because that's the first name I saw in the chat, said something that you guys were like, ah, oh, stop going on about it, like, just fucking, just leave, be nicer to people, just stop, we're a better community than that, we're, we're a whole community of, if you're an arsehole, we get rid of you, and then I go in my Discord and I see people being arseholes towards Manon. And I'm like, no one's exempt from the rules, guys. You better fix your fucking behavior. You know what I mean? 
Right, Lunala is not shiny, but that doesn't matter. Even if it's shiny, we will ignore it if it's not what we want. I still haven't told my funny story about Lunala. Good point. Uh, 145 speed, negative nature. It should be 126, so that might be a 31 IV. I should probably check with Joe if it can be. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing, lad? You don't need to go to that extreme. Ease up, ease up. You just need to say, no thank you, wham bam, no thank you, ma'am. Uh, I feel like I said wasn't helping. I mean, like, man on, like, obviously, try and be a little bit self-aware, but, like, people shouldn't be going that hard at you, you know? You know what I mean? Talk shit, get hit with the ban hammer. I got serious for a second. Sometimes it needs to. You know what I mean? Because I think, I think, you know, uh, like, quote-unquote jokey behavior that then borders into the, oh, this person might be getting bullied. Yeah, it's level 70, so it's either 126, 140, or 154, depending on the nature that I'm looking for. Remember, if in the last one, don't join the next one. 36, 36, 36, 39. Yes, and invite. Let's go. Jolly good. Make sure you connect to the internet or you'll look very silly. And also, this is a this is a similar thing. Uh, and it's a constant thing that I constantly have to remind people about. If a moderator has covered something, let's say, let, let's say for example, I use Glenn because that's the first name I see in chat. Let's say Glenn says something that maybe is a bit controversial, maybe is a bit like, maybe he probably shouldn't have said it in the Discord or something like that because it could potentially upset people. And a moderator comes in and goes, oh, Glenn, I've taken that out of the chat just because you probably really shouldn't say stuff like that in, in the, this isn't really the place for it. There is then, that's it covered by the moderator. The moderator has dealt with it or is in the process of dealing with it, so it's covered. What we don't need is a bunch of people who aren't moderators then going, yeah, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Uh, that's just great. Like, just fucking let the moderators mod. It's really important. Everything goes smoother if you just let the moderators mod because then the moderator is then having to moderate you and go, can we please not pile on to people? I'm trying to sort this. And then people get snippy with the mods going, well, I'm just standing up for what's right. And it's like, no, but what, I'm trying to do that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're looking for 126, 140, or 154, yeah. I think I think they're guaranteed to have either three or four max IVs, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but I think they can have zero IVs in some. Know what I mean? We don't need to cancel each other. Unless someone says something actually cancelable, like... I'm not going to say what, but imagine someone just being like, just did this, and you're like, that's illegal, my dude. Probably needs it to be said. Is Lunala weak to bug? No, because, um, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not, because Ghost resists bug. And so it cancels out. I'm having my cookie. Mmm. Oh, let's fucking go. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna Dynamax though, because I don't want people to take Sandstorm damage. People need to put themselves in someone else's shoes. We all do it. We all think we're having a laugh, but when we take a step back, we are going a bit too far. Exactly, Empire. Exactly. Oh, God, Lord. Oh, Sophie's nearly home. Yeah, banana bread? Holy moly, I love banana bread. Although, I did have banana bread a bit too often. So, um, I kind of put myself off it a bit, but I do love it. Uh, it's a KFC white chocolate cookie because KFC make the best cookies and I won't hear otherwise because they overbake them slightly which makes them more like biscuits and that's why I like them. Yeah. Got my team for Reg G. I mean, I have a Lunala for Reg G already set up um, but it's not minimum speed. And even though, like uh, Jamie Boyd said recently in his... Um, in his first serious tournament prep video for EUIC, he did... He said, like, minimum speed isn't... Like, the difference between, like, four IVs in speed and zero IVs in speed is, like, two... One or two stat points. So it's not a massive issue. But at the same time, if I can get the minimum speed one, I'm still gonna have the fastest Lunala and Trick Room possible, you know? Mm-mm. 
Pace two. Hey, Pika Sleepy, thank you for the 19 months. Elite, How's it baby. Going? Hell yeah. Get some love in the chat, please, for Pika Sleepy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, we've had one death already. This bodes well. Tasty. I mean, to be fair, Dragonair, bananas that are about to go bad, like you know, are the best to use for banana bread because they need to be slightly overripe, don't they? Okay, man, and that's fine. You, you like you don't need to try and do better. Let like, us not, you know. But I get what you mean. If that makes you feel better, <laughs> telling us that, then that's okay. Hang about. Uh, I'll catch this, and then I'm gonna lift the boy over the gate because. That just saves the highest pitch. Uh, crying at the door. Hey, spiders also with wolf spiders been chased across the room by one, but I would what? never have taken offense to what he said. What? What is it that he said? Hang on. I don't remember what was said. Did he just say he was going to kill the spider? Because I fucking do it all the time. Because actually, I recently, I recently heard that if you put a spider outside, um, like if you, if you, oh, I don't want to hurt the spider. I'm going to put it outside. I'm going to catch it in a cup and put it outside. Apparently that just leads to it dying. <laughs> like, the spider will just die anyway. So, at least you're putting out of, out of his misery early. Mm -mm -mm. I can't remember where this person suggested putting them. I think they just said, like, have a place in your shed or something like that and just put the spider in there. I just thought it would just crawl back in the house. No, apparently they, they try and find somewhere else to live and they just die in the elements. Because the whole reason they're in your house is because they're trying to be warm and safe because they'll die to the elements and then they, they just die. Hello, darling. How was the gym? Yeah. Yeah, I had the gym. I had the gym. Uh, I had the boiler on the moment you, you left because I was like, she's going to gym. She's going to want a bath. And I want a bath later. KFC, so I got a cookie. Oh, get this, right? Ordered the uh, well, I ordered because it pisses me off, right? Because I'm so mardy, right? Um, I I ordered the I didn't want to order a kern. I love her so much. Uh, she's got me sugar waffles, guys. That's what that was. Um, I wanted a kernel meal, but if you order a kernel meal on Uber Eats, it only gives you the option as fries as a side. I didn't want fries too high calorie for something so mid. I want creamy mash because that's always yummy. So I got three pieces and creamy mash separately. Slightly more pricier, but I was like. Uh, no, they didn't send one of the three pieces. So I got a 249 refund. Boom. Less less calories and less less money. So I'm happy. And I can have a shuffle shup shup that one of them later. A shoop shoop. I got scones as well. Oh, you know how to feed me. You're the best. Medina. Chicken tikka, Medina. Oh, well done, Jordan, on the shiny Dupida. Also, Amlian and uh, her, the guy she they were seeing are official boyfriend partners, and they've kissed. I know, right? I don't know if you can hear it, but Sophie is so happy. Mate, shiny du Dupida's great. Put them next to the PC. I hear they're great web developers. Very good. <laughs> Also, why have you put headphones on? Because I just took them off and I, oh, I took them off to hoist Max over oh, the gate. Yeah. And I haven't yet put them back on because I wanted to talk to you because you're my favourite person. I love you too. Mate, I, I love that. I love that. She was like, why have you not got headphones on? I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I think that's because you're planning to do some post-gym farts and you're like, put your noise cancelling headphones on. I'll still feel the vibrations, don't worry. <laughs> Fair. What, put it away or put it to wash? Nice. Sounds mascucci. I mean, we're having a cleaning day on Thursday because our house is a shit tip. Farts happen in the gym. You're lucky if it's just a fart, to be honest. You mean you're lucky. <laughs> This shiny raccoon it looks like for myself when I evolve it. It looks very, very good, I will say. Postman gym farts? No, very good. Postman pat is a thing. Oh, I guess in this instant, postman shat. Ha. Not me forgetting it was 12 hour this Friday. Oh, boy. Yeah, because we delayed it a week because of the UIC. 
Right? Better so for a gym stuff. It's been great motivation as well. Right? I need to start getting in fucking shape, dude. Some of the exercises will make you realize you're not done pooping. As someone with the 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 loose kind of IBS, I, I'm always done pooping. <laughs> Whether I want to be or not. Oh, well done, Sewell. Wants me to take a break from building the team. What does? When I do good mornings, it's like I'm squeezing myself like an old tube of toothpaste. Oh. Nonce. Hotel mirror made me big sad this weekend? Why? Was it like a fairground mirror and it just made Joe look teeny tiny? I'm not gonna lie. I took a great thirst pick for Sophie in the hotel mirror. It was great. You showed me I am fat. You did if it's any consolation, Marty, I didn't think you looked fat at con. If anything, I thought you'd lost weight, to be honest. So I, I, I don't know where you've got that from, but I guess the mirror? But I think the mirror was probably warped then. You have lost 30 pounds, Dragonair. You told us last week, unless it's another 30 pounds, which hey, would be incredible. Everyone. Another month bites the dust. Underscore atl hype colon underscore atl love. Hell yeah, Sebster. Get some hype in the chat for Sebster, please. What a legend. What a bloody legend Sebster is. Thank you for 19 months, baby. Who's your favorite robot on Robot Wars? Hypno Disc. Come on, mate. Actually, no, it was Razor. And I got to meet Razor once. He didn't say much because he's literally a, a robot, but he was great. Fucking loved Razor. I am still angry. I still think that Tornado should have been disqualified in the in the later, like, post-season things that they did, like the extra seasons, where it put that fucking frame around it so Razor's claw couldn't reach its tires. I was like, nah, fam, it couldn't even fit in the pit. It was dumb as fuck. Fucking Razor got scammed. I also like, um, oh, what was it called? Uh, in the more recent seasons, you know, the ones that Dara O'Brien hosted, uh, there was, I think it won it. I think it won one of the seasons was Carbide. Partly because it's from Darbe, and it's the closest I'll get to being a football fan. Because I'm like, Darbe, they're from Darbe. Carbide was fucking sick. Because that was another one with like big spinning blade. I fucking love things with spinning blades. Unless they hit me in the arm, because then I'd probably lose my arm. Robot Wars? Yeah, yeah, there's a big war happening in the robot world. Nah, it's just a, it's just a TV show. Like a game show. I was always a Hypnodisc guy. Oh, you do know what it is. Fair. Mate, Hypnodisc was fucking killer. Hypnodisc and Chaos 2 is like one of the best finals fucking ever. We talk about the part where the 3DS online service died to death yet? No, because I've not used the 3DS online service for a long time. So I just went, all right, guess I'll keep playing the Switch. <laughs> oh, my boss, Steve. You're a fucking arsehole. Stay still. Or not. Chaos 2 was fucking great. I love that Hypnotist loses to Chaos 2 because it doesn't have a self-writing mechanism. And then the next year, there was like a big uptick in like everybody needs to have a self-writing mechanism. Even fucking Razor had one. The little wings, man. I'm good, Mystic. How you doing? Ever seen Love, Death and Robots? No. Oh, Cassius. I loved Pussycat as well. You know, the, the one that was like, it had four wheels on the bottom. And then it was tall with the blade on top. But if it fell on its side, it just had casters as well. The house bots. Dead Metal was my favorite fucking house bot. It's so good. Like, I think I liked Dead Metal. And then weirdly Shunt, I really liked as well. Even though, like, it wasn't that great. Like, they'd be like, like, John Pierce would be on the commentary be like, Oh no, and now they're trapped with Shunt. And I'm like, yeah, but Shunt's just going to use his bulldozer thing and go, Oop. Oh, and that's it. Like, it didn't do anything. Sergeant Bash was mint. I didn't like the new ones they added in. Like, Growler, which is literally British slang for a vagina. And then Mr. Psycho, which is like, we couldn't think of a name. Mate, we nearly saw Mr. Psycho, because on a school trip, we, uh... We went to see Robot Wars being filmed at, like, an RAF base, but it was the Dutch season. Um, and we, they told us that Mr. Psycho existed, and um, but they couldn't use it because it was so new that they'd brought it out to the ring for testing, the arena, and it had hit its hammer with such force that it had broken a hole in the arena. So they were having to go back and do more tests with it. 
Matilda was alright. I loved when she used to get fucking ruined by other robots. Like, Hypnodisc fucking murdered her. Yeah, man, that's it, Sonny. It was baller. Like, panic attack and all that. Cool that you got your hair done. Who, me? I mean, I did it. <laughs> I watched it. Film twice a kid. Good experience. Cute, though, for the pits. So got to see them working on the bots. Mate, I got to see fucking Razor as well, because that was just there, just signing shit. Thermidor 2, yes. I like Deator as well, the one who used to always set on fire. And, um, we actually had to wait for about two hours at this event in the audience because there was a, you know, you know the robot Gemini? Some people remember Gemini. It was a small robot that could split into two separate robots, but it was still legal for fighting. And it was like both of the robots had to be disabled for it to count as Gemini being out. There was a, there was a robot in the Dutch season that split into three. And that was awesome. Except for Matilda reversed into one of the three pieces with her flywheel and it flicked it with such force that the little piece of cluster bot hit one of the cameras and broke the camera and it was like one of the main cameras along the side. So we had to wait while they fixed the camera and it took like two hours and we just sat there like this isn't as good as I wanted it to be. Not I mean. This would motherfucker, says Scragster. Got ads, lol. Her flower was better than a chainsaw. Oh, a chainsaw was gash, wasn't it? It was garbo. <laughs> oh, look at that. Like it's fucking child's play. Also, the reason there's no count on the screen is because we're not, we're not shiny hunting. The throw hath been tamed. Pixar, it didn't happen, mate. You know the rule. Uh, let's go for. I'm going for. A, I'm going for. A, I'm going to go for a heal ball because that looks nice. Nice. Strikes to me. Fucking WrestleMania was mint. I still need to watch night one though. I might watch it after stream. I remember Razor fucked up so badly it changed it completely. Mate, Razor was rude. I like Sir Kill a lot, but I always felt he was a little bit overrated. But I guess he's not overrated. As I got older, I realized, no, the fact that his fucking claw is the jaws of life, but reversed, I'm like, that's kind of insane. Didn't like night one. I like two matches, bruh. So, we're just, you know, do a little cheeky sheen check just in case, but we're not after that. We're after. No, the jaw, yeah, I guess reversed, it would be the jaws of death. You're right. Uh, 157 speed with a neutral nature is incorrect. It should be 140. Motherfucker. Do you know what happens? Or should I keep quiet about it? I, I know what happens because I watched night two and they spoiled everything. Because that's what they do. Like, I know some of the results, but I don't know the ins and outs of the matches. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with not taking one. Oh, Behemoth was annoying. Behemoth was great. It, it, like, Behemoth is the reason that I can't say Behemoth. And everyone corrects me. From Hemel Hempstead, Behemoth. And I'm like, no! We're good to detail that. That's alright, that's alright. Th Thursday stream, I should have probably watched it by then. Some of the matches were very disappointed. I bet they weren't disappointed. Mate, I love the end. Like, I know they gave EO Sky just her normal entrance, but it just, I don't know why, but something about it just made her look like this fucking undefeatable menace. And one thing I'll give WWE credit for is, um, no, WWE wouldn't know what the fuck to do with Simon Miller, so AEW should sign Simon Miller. I love WWE. They just put on probably the show of the year. Like, I don't think anything's going to top WrestleMania Night 2, but they definitely... I don't want them to waste Simon, you know? Yeah, she has an aura about it. EO's fucking great. But what I, what I love about what WWE are doing nowadays is unlike in the past when Vince was like, no, the only thing Japanese wrestlers can do is speak broken English. Like, wrestlers that don't natively speak English, they, they have to just speak in as good English as they can, even if it sounds like they are, like, reading the first script they've ever read, like, kind of thing, you know, because it's not their native tongue. I love now that they do pre-recorded promos with them where they are speaking in their native tongue with all the cadence that they would normally do, comfortably, and they just subtitle them. I fucking love that. Like, Io actually doing her promos in Japanese is fucking baller. Do you know, believe Roman Reigns' WrestleMania entrance was the greatest ever, though? It's fucking great. Love how they've taken the fact that Vince is gone. Instead of just making a few improvements, they're proper overhauling the product. I love that they're making it very clear. They're like, there is no Vince now. Big Paul's in charge, as long as Big Dwayne says it's okay. 
Yeah, absolutely, Scrag. You're fucking absolutely right. Like, even in defeat, Roman looked incredible. Like, it was a very overbooked main event, but I very much liked it. By the way, if you were in the last one, feel free to join this one now. Because we've got like a minute left. I could see Stephanie, yeah. Stella Grace, she got new music. Or was it the same music? It was just so fucking loud. It didn't sound right. Yeah, as they should, Amber, exactly. Is Trash talking just make laugh? Oh, Scrag, I was fucking dying. Sophie was, like, asleep at this point, so I, I couldn't, like, bring it up. But it was so fucking funny when he did the crossroads on Cody and obviously didn't secure the win. And he's just like, I didn't even think that was going to do anything anyway. I was just doing it for the fun of it. Like, like that's why it's a crap finisher. That's why I'm the champion. He couldn't beat me last year because his finisher's shit. And I was like, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I knew that move was trash. Ain't never beat nobody. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was so good. Come on, everyone. Jump in, you bastards. Or we'll do it with a rando or an NPC. A rock remix of Style and Grace. It was, wasn't it? Some vocals and new rock music. That's what I thought. Uh, do we know the exact odds of pulling a zero-speed Lunala? Uh, no. Fuck it. We're going in. Me, me Metapod and Gizmo could do it with a fucking... with an NPC. You do have sword and shield. I fell on my shield and my pussy went brrrr. Stop it. Yeah, I'm squeezing the life out him right now and my arm is extra big. <laughs> yeah, AJ Styles' new music is really fucking weird. Honestly, yeah, I, I, I give him Stephanie's music before I gave, <laughs> gave him whatever the fuck he's got now. Janet's got this, lads. Janet with her knock towel is going to fuck everyone up. Trust. We could grab that ghost type and that normal type and that dark type. That'd be pretty good. Uh, three forced IVs, so 50% chance of speed not being forced. Zero to 31 IV range, so one in, out of 32 there. Altogether, one in 64. That's not bad. That's better odds than getting a shiny. Oh, I like that. They need to get rid of Death Rebel so bad. Yeah, they need to rehire CFO dollar sign. That's what they need to do. Damien's new theme was all right. I didn't really get a good listen to it, but it was all right. Mate, I was so hyped when he cashed in. I was like, mate, I'm so fucking happy right now. That's perfect. Because it, it furthers a bunch of feuds at the same time. Like, they can even have CM Punk at some point be like, "You're the uh, I'm the only reason you're champion. Like, everything writes itself. Should a ghost would be bad? I mean, maybe you get lucky and it only hits you with Moonblast? Yeah, they did have a falling out with WWE. I'm not surprised. Uh, they did the Judgment Day theme as well. What? Uh, Alter Bridge? I thought Alter Bridge did the Judgment Day theme. Can rentals be shiny? Uh, at the end, you only find out if the Pokemon you're catching is shiny at the end. So, like, the Pokemon that you rent can be, but they can't be shiny in the game itself. Like, in, in the process. Hey, Cap Rider brought a few days for me, and I've been so mentally drained. Oh, my dude, I'm sorry I've been away. Can we get loads of love for Cap Rider in the chat, please? What in the special talent flame is this? Oh, yeah, not the very first ones. No, no. Sadly, because we don't take those. Best thing about Cashin is you felt like Drew deserved it because it happened because he couldn't stop talking shit. Yeah. Oh, CM Punk with the actual fucking... He need, CM Punk needs to be a bit careful, though, because he is he is hitting some burns that are a bit too strong. Like, Drew is having a go at him on the announce table, and he's like, you know, he's giving it the big, and he's saying stuff like, hey, you just won the world title. Why are you bothered about me right now? But then he follows it up with, you know, it, I think this is the first time I've ever seen someone win a world title, and everyone is chanting another guy's name, and I'm just like, fuck! That's, mate, that's too far, dude. Like, you're going to bury the poor lad. Drew needs broken dreams back, man. Like, they own it. They can use it, right? Yeah, he's doing the John Cena. It's got a promo, dude. You should learn how to read one or whatever he said. Gorgeist, more like Horgeist. Second they didn't cut away from Drew, I knew something's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. Like the second it didn't just fade when he was celebrating, I was like, yeah, this is this is shenanigans are happening. But I wasn't sure if it was just gonna be Drew's gonna beat down CM Punk. And be like, you'll never have my tail. Or if it's going to be, you know, something else. Fine speech proceeds to verbally end the poor guy's career every time.
Bruh. No, the meme. Oh, no, I haven't seen the meme. They did the Judgment Day meme. I don't know the meme. Uh, I am happy to take it. Fuck off, Janet. If Janet takes this from me, I'll be so mad. Thank you, Janet. Damn it, Janet. We were down the weekend, still trying to recover from it. Mate. I know it won't make you feel better, but it, it might be it might be somewhat relatable and and help you understand that having a having a breakdown and having a panic is very normal. Uh, apparently, Becky Lynch, who was going into a world championship match that opened WrestleMania, was very, very poorly for a few weeks leading up to the event. Obviously got better before the event, but she said that apparently for two hours before her match, she had a full-on like panic attack that wouldn't go away because she was so nervous. So like even even the uber uber duber uber athlete celebrities have shaky moments. Like how Damien Priest cashed in on Drew, so that's why we knew he wasn't going to cash in on Cody. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. We knew that Cody was safe, mate. Hashtag safe, mate. That was Rhea. Becky had a fever. Oh, I heard it was Becky that had it. Oh. Maybe I read it wrong. Well, in that case, Rhea had it. Rhea, mate, Rhea Ripley, like the most popular women's wrestler in the world right now. There you go. Had a panic attack for two hours. Home she got cold this morning. Damn, dude. Drew has a story to finish. Can't keep hold of the world title in front of a crowd. This is true. He's got lots of motivation. We just saw two flying types against him. Mulga. We're great. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for us. Oh, Matt. Oh, that sucks, dude. Really? Do you want to... Is, is it something you, you want to talk about? Or would you rather leave it at that? For the record, I voted Psychic. For the record, I don't remember what I voted, but you all saw it. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon's Poliwhirl. Although, Poliwrath is making... Is giving it a run for its money. Because I use him in battle more often. I voted Electric. Whoops. Still goes to Boston and up hospital hours for his WrestleMania 19 match. He did. I mentioned the mod chat. I've not read mod chat over the weekend, mate. I've been away, but I'll, I'll have a look at it later. But all the love in the chat for Matt, please. Let me use Worry Seed and wake it up. Don't use Worry Seed and wake it up. Yeah, hopefully hopefully you'll, you'll be okay, my dude. We're all here. That's, that's all right, Matt. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's all right. Like, I'll, I'll read what you put in my chat, and then if you need an ear, just, like, hit us up, dude. Drew moaned about money in the bank. Oh, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I agree with that, uh, Beansy. Like, Drew's absolutely winning money in the bank. Because he's like, oh, it was a fucking shortcut taken to beat me, and it's like, then he's going to take that shortcut to beat someone else. I reckon it'll be, eventually, I think it'll be, I think it might be Punk that, that, um, dethrones, da dethrones Damien. And then Drew's going to come in and take the moment away with the money in the bank. I could totally see that happening. It's a bit predictable, but also it kind of works. Mutual decision still hurts. Yeah, like, like I've, I've had breakups that have been very mutual. And yeah, like it, it still hurts because you're like, wow, this is someone I care about. But now I'm going to see less of them. But then also it gives you, a, you know, eventually you'll realize, wow, I've got a bit more freedom now, though. Like, I, I no longer have to, you know, you're in a position where you don't have to consider someone else with every decision you make. You can be like, okay. This, this is what I'm doing now. Yeah, don't take Beware. Please don't vote for Beware. Plus, like, you're, you're, a young, like, you're, you're, you're young, so... It's not like it's the be-all and end-all. Like, it, it'll be bad. It's bad now, but, like, in the future, you'll be like, you know what? I'm glad I had that experience. Because it's readied me for the next experience. Not dark. What if it's a pure dark type, like Lipard? Oh, no, this works! This works big styly. Like, you got this, Matt. We all believe in you. Oh, no! It all went wrong! Actually, this works out for everybody. Probably. What Pokemon have I got? Oh, I've got Gorgeist, of course. So, I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak before it kills me. Predictable is okay, but it's a good thing we want. Yeah, exactly. Like, the Cody win. The Cody win was quite predictable. We all wanted it. And for once, WWE didn't go, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's do the opposite. Probably trading, shiny hunting a Scarlet. Lord, nearly have a box of hacked shiny mons. We've got three legit ones at least. One is actually a mon I've been wanting. Damn, dude. 
You should just try shiny hunting them in the game. It'd be probably a lot quicker. Has AI decided which mods transform into? Uh, I think it transforms into the leader's Pokemon. I think so because it's my Dynamax adventure. I think it copies mine. Like, like in, um, like in Max uh, oh, Terror Raid. Competitor race trainer Liam. It is. I did compete, Breen, and I did awful. How are you doing? I beat Jamie Boyd though. I didn't beat him in a battle, but I beat him overall. Thank you for the 20 months. Get some hype for Breen, please. Hype in the chat, please. Oh, sorry, Dre. Well, I mean, we might not get the Lunala today, so we might do more of these at the weekend. No, dude, my dad liked when I, was, uh, when I was a kid, and my siblings had two. 2008 and maybe 2009 PS2 game. Raymond Zero, John Cena, Undertaker, and Kane are the ones I remember the most. Hey, they're all kind of baller. Although Kane is a shitty person these days. Correct thing, because the moustache isn't there anymore. Yeah, true. Here we go. People said felt like the final battle in Endgame. Loved it. It was proper. What did Kane do? Oh, uh, well, Kane's obviously mayor of Knox County, Ten Tennessee, right? Which is, you know, fair enough. Anyone can be a mayor if they work hard. But he then, he's very famously gone on record and said that they want to put laws in place that ban homeless people from sleeping on, like, in public places because they should go and sleep in their own private places. Bearing in mind, normally you're homeless because you don't own any private property. So where would they go? He's very anti-homeless people, and not in the way of like, we want to stop homelessness. He's more like, I want to stop the homeless. <laughs> He's an absolute arsehole. How do you ban homeless people? Be a big red machine, apparently. Like, he's a, like some of his policies are really wankery policies. Shani Berg might go on. Why doesn't he help them not be homeless, right? That's what Finland do. Full on dickhead. He's anti vax, anti trans, pro gun laws, and blames shootings on wokeness. And as Liam said, he's anti homeless. May he. Bl I didn't know about the blaming shootings on wokeness. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You have fucking shit. Like, let's not get too political. Let's go away from politics as quickly as possible because it's very divisive and very fucking boring. I'll take the ditto for a laugh. Um, and then basically, like, there have been shootings where there have been mass shootings where the guy has released like a fucking full-on manifesto afterwards about how he believes in the Great White Erasure or bollocks like that. And then he's like, and then Kane's there, like, oh, it's because everyone's fucking woke now. No, it's not. It's because white supremacists are fucking insane. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, that's fine. I'll take Basculin. Never watched Star Wars fully, so I can't be the judge. You should, it's fun. So my Cody story is more like Star Wars from WrestleMania 38 to WrestleMania 40. Oh, I don't know. Being sick is my fault. I stayed up late this morning, was on a four-wheeler in the cold. Fun fact, being out in the cold does not give you a cold. If you're outside in the cold for too long, you won't catch a cold, because that's not how it works. People blame the Baltimore Bridge crash and the shitty Boeing plane quality on wokeness? Jesus Christ. People that, like, unironically use the word wokeness as well to describe anything, I'm just like, okay, you're an idiot. We don't need to get hung up on the details. It's on Twitter if you want to see how mad he is. Yeah, he's fucking insane. Which is a shame, because Kane was one of my favorites growing up, but Glenn Jacobs is a wanker. If we have our own Lunala now, it's great, right? Well, it's great as long as Shadow Ball doesn't hit it. That would be kind of less than Pog, my G. Also, shopping cart I had was dirty and sticky on the left side. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. At least we still have fake cane. Luke Gallows, let's go! You have a very rusty before you started doing this BS. Yeah, exactly. What a big loser nobble, loser, loser, nobble, nobble. What's that blue cane? We do have blue cane. Cane before he went massless seemed great. It, the irony, the irony that a wrestler who famously wrestled in a mask for so long was anti-mask. Even though, even through a ditto, it's mad seeing someone use a legendary in D-Max Adventures, right? Anyone see the eclipse yesterday? No. 
I find them a bit boring because people normally post a picture of them on Twitter and I go, oh yeah, that, that is what an eclipse looks like. Wicked. I don't, I, I'm such a grumpy old man. I just don't get the appeal. But it's the moon blocking the way of the sun. And I'm like, all right, wicked. It's always next two decades. Uh, can I 1v1 you in Dynamax Adventures? It'd be very difficult, but you're welcome to try. Uh, let's go with a heal ball. Everything will be dark, though. It's nighttime. Everything's dark now. <laughs> a hat blocks the sun. I don't take a picture every time. Well done, Moon. You went in front of the sun. Why does my mouth hurt so much after eating oranges when poorly? Uh, citric acid, I suppose. I've seen a total eclipse. It's better. Total eclipse of my ass. <laughs> Oi. And invisible in the normal hemisphere anyway, so I couldn't watch it anyway. Rip. Hey, Lunala, how you diddling? So, 171 speed. Ah, oh, that's way too high. It should be 156 at most. Gutted. It's the Jaffa Cakes advert. That uh, is true. Half Moon. That's showing your age there. Total Eclipse. The Eclipse for me was a filtered sunlight. Oh. It is what it is. Sophie's eating something really fucking tasty from the smell of it. Good lord. How am I still hungry? Let's go for Lunala. Remember, if you're in the last one, don't join the next one. Give other people a chance to join until it gets to about a minute left. And in that case, you know, go for broke. Three, six, three, six, three, six, three, nine. I'm not going to be pressed until the moon and the sun have a cage fight. Nice. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in chat as well, just in case. Probably fascinating because it's unique to our planet, as far as I know. It's complete coincidence that it happens and eventually won't anymore because the moon is slowly moving away. Uh, the speed on a positive nature will be 156. Uh, 154, sorry. If it has zero IVs. Kenzie! How do you join? Uh, exclamation mark DA in the chat to join a Dynamax adventure. Something at WrestleMania that really impressed me. Roman's perfect plex. It was nice, right? But say my father rented a car for my sister, so now I can go basically anywhere with gas. What if the place doesn't have gas? Obvi there are obviously limitations, especially with a regular permit. How does that work with a rental car? Because I get that, like, I get that if you own your own car, you can, um, yeah, because like. Uh, so I can use it in Trick Room. Like, so it can be the fastest thing in Trick Room Empire. Like, the idea is, protect Lunala from whatever, get Trick Room up, and then boom. Go ham on Calyrex Shadow Rider. Or Calyrex Ice Rider, who are going to be two big problems in the meta going forward. Like, if you guys are sick of seeing Flutter main, get ready to get once again sick of Calyrex. Uh, no, Lunala's going to be Trick Room... Uh, Wide Guard, Moonlight, and Moon Guy's Beam. Terra Fairy. Favorite match from Mania, aside from the Cody Saga? I really... Uh, I haven't watched Day 1 yet, so I need to get around to that. But I, from Day 2... Ooh. I really enjoyed, annoyingly, I really enjoyed the Logan Triple Threat. <laughs> Once again, a banging match is put on. It was very well put together. Down, down. Cool, we've reached that point. If you were in the last one and you want to join again, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Once it hits one minute left, anyone can join. Are you connected to the internet, SVR? Yeah, Logan just has it. We were talking about this at the weekend with uh, with someone where, like, we don't like Logan as a person, and we probably never will. Like, at this point, it's, it's, it's so far gone that, like, I'll probably never like Logan Paul the person, but he's an incredible wrestler. It's, he's frustratingly good at professional wrestling, and I kind of hate that. But he is just naturally gifted. It's his amateur wrestling background, basically. Good presentation, Jay Cargill. They're limiting her in the ring and making it feel like such a big deal that she gets in the ring, and I'm so for it. Yeah, and it gives her a lot more time to, like, get her, her reps in and stuff. Probably on the house show circuit and things. 
Like, they've made it look like a million dollars. Like, it's funny because I wonder... I still don't fully understand why AEW, like, hired her and then went... Like, I don't know what she did before wrestling, but, like, I don't get why they hired her and then pushed her like she's the biggest thing fucking going, even though she was new, and then WWE have continued it, and I'm just like, man, do you like WrestleMania, Liam? I, I did, yeah. Mike Williams to laugh, they were, and there was always taking a photo with KSI. Yeah, man. Start a new playthrough in Sword, so recatch all the legendaries, transfer them to my main save. Nice. Pose about they're about to make you famous. I might even tag you, probably not. Oh, that's great. Gives most sick of being in battles with me. Wow. Wow. Look at this septile. It looks like dog shit. Da -da 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 -da. Mate, let's fucking go. Oh dear. None of that for me, please. Taster, taster. Here we go. Keep fucking him up. Let's go. Get frozen. Go on, Lilligan, you bastard. I'm excited. Texture Sword Shield is so jarring to see compared to Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, like, people complain about Scarlet and Violet's, like, graphics, and then we go back to Sword and Shield and we're like, wow. I guess Torment doesn't affect Sceptile because it's a Dynamax Pokemon, maybe? Couldn't figure out in time here. That's alright, Claudio. Yeah, there'll be plenty more. I'm home now, and I'm scared to go inside. Wait, why? Why? What's happened, Night Angel? What's going on? I'm not sure what to think of the women's division lately. I mean, I like the Bailey story. Like, it's gone the right direction. I think Becky and Rhea had decent chemistry. Liam, the morning I had. I don't. I don't know what happened. What? What's going on? I feel in the dark. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. A Pokemon that's Dynamaxed, it'll, uh, Torment will fail against it. And if you're under Torment, if you Dynamax, it will get rid of the effect. So for the ones that didn't catch on my main save, I like Regilecki and Calyrex Ice Form. Nice. I got chased out of my house by a giant spider, and it's still in there somewhere. Oh! Nah, mate, run in. Run in, it's probably left. Then why did it give the rental on the move? Because Pokemon. Yeah, I thought Bailey and Eo had good chemistry. Like, I didn't think that match was bad. I thought it was being really clever. One of my matches are great. Oh yeah, multi-person matches. There's still a bit of a, a disconnect there, isn't there? You can have a complete breakdown. You see Texas and Hobby. Oh, bless you, mate. Ah, sorry, Ice Drag. Start charging it, Ren. It'll leave then, mate. Oh, none of that, you bastard. It's okay, Lilling got that bulk. Should go for another Quither Dance? Ah, he'd be fine. Look at that Sceptile. Ain't it great? Love it. Oh, it's nice that it's a 1 in 64 chance then. That's kind of baller. Boo boo. Do do do. Let's go for. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, last week I went to meet for a wedding job. The guy was nice, but fiance previously had previous. I had previously done a wedding. She was on third time and wouldn't use me. And would hang on. Wait a minute. Slow down, Liam. Last week I went to a meeting for a wed for a wedding job. The guy was nice, but his fiance I had previous done her wedding. She was on third time and would use me if I offered a discount for multiple jobs. Right? 
Is that is that real or is that a joke? I don't I don't get it. What? <laughs> what? Uh, use some fire or a rock or a flying thing. Those usually work on bugs. Very good. Uh, let's go with... What are we going to have? Let's have a little cheeky... Eh. I legit ran out my house? Damn, dude. I fucking hate spiders, so I get that. I'd like a translation. Because I don't understand any of that. Do that, Night Angel. That's a good shout. Oh, every, everyone's saying different maths in this Reddit thread. Oh dear. Uh, ba 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 ba. Aura wheel, let's go. Doing great, nice to hear, Anthony. That's baller. Uh, just gonna. Oh, I've read this. Tried to get a committed customer discount. Should have given her a punch card. Let you get coffee shops. Liam, I'm a photographer. She was on her third wedding. I did one of them before. She said, I'd only get the work for this wedding if I offer discount price for a previous wedding I did. Oh, so what did you say to her? Did you tell her to stuff it or. But like, what's the outcome? Just back from walking cookie, what I miss? Mate, I wish I still had a cookie to eat. Uh, you missed the part of the stream that you weren't present for. Yeah, you're alright there, Gizmo. Kind of awkward that John Cena proposed to Nikki Bell at WrestleMania 32, considering nothing came of it in the end. I mean, yeah, but as someone who's proposed to people before and it hasn't worked out, like, oh well. Is what it is. Normally. Mate, Cryogonal, can you GTFO? Oh, by the way, I don't know if people know this, but Cryogonal has incredible special defense, so physical moves. I love that D-Max Adventures are back. They shouldn't, well, I say not for long, but it all depends on when we get the Lunala. Um. Bruh. You guys ready for Pokemon AZ? No, I am ready for Pokemon ZA though, because that is coming out. How is everything, Liam? Everything's all right. I'm just having a gander at some stats, but it wasn't but, like everyone's arguing about all the stats in this Reddit thread. <laughs> just telling me a Cryogonal could be useful and competitive as a tank? No, because it's frail on the physical side. I'm in the AZ camp. There are no camps because Nintendo and Pokemon have confirmed it's ZA officially, like. It's, it's already confirmed. So, if there are camps at all, it's the camp of the people who call it the original official name, and there are people in the camp of being wrong. Not everyone thinks that. I'm AZ. It doesn't matter what people think. That's like me saying I think Crash Bandicoot 3 is called Womped and not Warped. Like, I can think it, but it's not correct because the official shit says Warped. It's trademarked. Crikey, lads. Crikey. Right. Hang on. Liam, your name is male. <laughs> Scragster. Don't, don't, don't encourage it, Scragster. Okay, before, be, all you have to do is Google Pokemon Legends ZA, right? And the first result that comes up, uh, let's go for water. Okay, the first result that comes up for Pokemon ZA 
is the official Pokemon Legends website that says Pokemon Legends ZA, a new adventure set within Lumio City, will launch on Nintendo Switch systems, right? But I know, I know you don't, I know you don't believe me. So let's go to that website itself, right? Let's click into the official Pokemon Legends website. There's no way that could be wrong, right? There's no way Pokemon would get their own game name wrong, right? Okay. Well, let's look at page one of the website. Yeah, what a great idea. You know, Pokemon who are making this game, let's let's see what they think. Okay, let's let's see what Pokemon's official website says. So it says Pokemon Legends ZA announcing an ambitious new entry to the Pokemon video game series. Pokemon Legends ZA releasing simultaneously worldwide on Nintendo Switch. When it's out, then we shall see. No, that's not how games work. You don't release a game and then go yoink. It's got a different name. The fuck are you on about? You are talking, as they say in the business, mad shit right now. Real question is why they're calling it ZA, because we're still the center of the AZ truth. Well, it's probably because we're going back in time. We're going from Z to A instead of A to Z. Like, it, it makes sense, you know? Your dog is cool. Yeah, they'll do. Like, why do we think as well... I, I think this is a really important thing people in the quote-unquote AZ camp are getting wrong. Is AZ, the character's name, is not spelt with a hyphen in the middle. Like, if you read all of X and Y, like, if you play X and Y and read the dialogue, he's always AZ, just the letters. He's not got a hyphen. The fact that this has a hyphen might mean we shouldn't even be pronouncing it as ZA. We should be pronouncing it Pokemon Legends Z to A. There are others in the camp. I mean, you think what you want to think, mate, but just honestly, I will be I'll be completely honest, right? Anyone hear it like most people hearing you say it's Pokemon AZ even though it's literally been confirmed by the Pokemon Company International to be ZA, they're just going to think you're stupid. And if that's what you want, then by all means, if you enjoy that, feel free. It's just wrong. But I, you know, that's the last thing I'll say on it. Agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You agree to look stupid, and I agree to continue to follow the official guidelines, you know? Is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Basically. No point arguing, people are just wrong about. Oh, I've, I've reached the point where I've realized the person's arguing just to be just in bad faith. Like, it's being argued just because, aha, it's funny to argue with people online. It's like, yeah, probably got better things to do, surely. How are you able to memorize a full episode of WTF Moments without reading a script? Uh, by reading the script. <laughs> That's out. Kind of hope he, AZ isn't in ZA. I'd be so funny if he never even appears. Or just appears in a post credit scene. Literally written... Uh, yeah, even in the logo taser, like, the Z is on top of the A. And the hyphen is on top of the A, so they come first. He's the Thanos of the Pokemon world. Eh, that's, that's insulting Thanos, really. Sophie's behind the camera with prompt cards. No, it's almost like my camera that's facing me here is on my computer in front, behind my monitors. Clear things up for me. How do you pronounce Omanite? I pronounce it Omanite, but I know some people say Omanite because of Omastar, but it's Omanite. Because it's based on an Ammonite. The interesting thing about AZ is the fact we never got his flow out right. Hope the correct size is shiny. That'd be baller, wouldn't it? Character named Ganon, so it must be the legend of Ganon. <laughs> We've been wrong for decades. Nice. It's apparently Ammonite. I mean, when Americans say it, they're like, Ammon, Ammon, Ammonite! You know? But, oh, I guess, guess that's wrong then. Hey, TDOS3 Gamers fan, how you doing? It's the Wolfie song, let's go. What if Zelda was a girl? Very good, Taser, very good. Whose ancestor do you want to see the most? Oh, I don't mind. Like, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not as into the characters as you guys. I just want to see the Pokemon. 
I just want to see the Pokemon that are included, but I want to be surprised by it, so I'm not going to look at leaks or anything, because that would be well worn. Very good, Breen. Very good. Hello, Lou. How are you doing? Mate, I'm gutted you weren't competing. There was a, there was a losing spot for you, and I took it. <laughs> We all know it's neither Ammonite or Ammonite, it's Lord Helix Savior to all, of course. I want to see Mega Evolution not be usable. I want the Mega Evolved Pokemon to just be boss battles. I want to see the unrest in the community. How many battles did you win in the end? A whole one, mate. A whole one. I messed my team right up the day before. Forgot much actually like FF16, messing with different abilities this time though. Rook's Gambit, fuck me when I used it this time, the last time. Mate. Mate. It's baller. Did you see the new Snap Connection Conspiracy Theory? No, I've, I've not been on Pokemon internet for a while. I need to sneeze. There you go. At the credits, we'll see the creation of Mega Stones. Imagine they bring in new Megas, but they're boss battles only. Oh my god. Be mint. Shadow Ball, baby! Oh, we are rinsing this Lunala, good lord. Great seeing you on Saturday. Sorry if I fanboyed a bit too much. Oh, Max did it. it. was very, very wholesome. Very, very much appreciated. Are you okay with Lost? Like, how seriously you take it? Is it mainly for fun? Oh, it's mainly for fun for me. Like, I went 1 and 8, and most people drop after they've lost, like, 2... If someone loses 3 battles, that guarantees they don't make day 2. So most people will drop after 3, or if not 4, like, like Jamie Boyd did. But I'm like, I've paid to compete. So I'm going to play all nine rounds regardless. Like, I'm not going to get through to day two, but I'm going to get more experience of playing in person in an open team sheet format, which you don't really get to do online unless you play um, Showdown. And I can't... I, I struggle to play Showdown because I find, image-wise, it's really boring. <laughs> Sierra and Lou, boss commentary, mate. Sierra and Lou are fucking brill. Everybody that was at UIC was fucking proper good. How was it UIC? I didn't I didn't do much. How much the entrance fee? It was like I think it was 65 or 75 this year. It had gone up from the last time for sure. Oh, that's pounds, by the way. I don't know what that is. In dollars, that'd be like $90, I think. The idea of saving the afternoon by finding a killer place to eat. Fair. Although, I will say, although I don't have the bag with me, so I don't. I don't actually, I can't show you what I got. But in the bag, you do get the exclusive, like, EUIC, like, card play mat. You get um, card sleeves, like, you know, the thingy bobs. You get a deck box. You get a baseball cap. Like, you get a bunch of stuff that's exclusive to the Pokemon Center, but you get it all included with the fee as part of, like, your swag bag. So, and then you could just, yay, Shiny Cryonicle, let's go. So we'll take that, probably. Um, 145. Oh, no, that's no. Should have been 126. Hey, Ty Ducky, how you doing? Great to meet you the weekend, dude. Right, we'll take the Sheen then. I might send that Scarlet and Violet and count it as my living decks. Oh, S is very chill this evening. She's chilling. What items are getting there different to what you can buy at the Pokemon Center? Oh, like the hat and pin. Oh, fair play. It's different stuff to what you get from the Pokemon Center. But it's stuff you can sell. Like, you can sell those play mats for like 50 quid and basically make your money pretty much back. What is this party? I just noticed. Yeah, what the fuck? Remember, if you're in the last one, don't try and join the next one until there's a minute left on the timer. I mean, hang out, everyone. Oli was so welcoming. We try and be, absolutely. Will you sell it? No, can't be asked. Like, well, most of the TCG stuff, like, I don't care about TCG, really. So, like, Sophie will keep that because, you know, why not? And I'll just use the, the play mat, which is really cool because it's a play mat with, like, a bunch of the Paradox Pokemon on. I'll use that as a mouse pad, like, mouse and keyboard pad. Uh, yes, keep a record of Lunala. Imagine Mega Flygon, but not playable. Amazing. Love that. Uh, I've said specifically to Dunsparce that trolling Nintendo is the best Nintendo, so locking Megas into boss battles would be a thing of beauty. I'd love it. Should have bought a TCG map for a mouse pad. They had some really nice ones. Like, the Garchomp one was really cool. It's alright. I think that kind of stuff, they might 
like the Garchomp one at least, they might sell online. So remember, same code as always, 36363639. If you're in the last one, please give it until there's a minute left on the clock before you try and join, so other people can join. Regional variant of wishy-washy that schools into another Pokemon. You mean like into a different Pokemon or like, like, like as in like a different form of wishy-washy? Or do you mean like it transforms by schooling into the opposite, in, like, like a ditto? A wishy-washy that school that looks like a Gyarados, like a budget Gyarados. I like it. Apparently, I was reading somewhere, I can't remember where, but apparently in the... I don't, I don't know how true this is, and I know Joe will correct me, which is fine. I, I would like to be corrected if I'm wrong. But in the code for Scarlet and Violet, I, I've heard rumors that Toad Scroll and Toad Cool are coded in the game for, with names that basically translate to, like, Hill Magikarp and Hill Gyarados. So, like, originally, they were going to be regional forms of, like, Gyarados and Magikarp, but they went... Like, like convergent species of Magikarp and Gyarados, but then they went, nah, we'll do Tentacool and Tentacruel instead. That's why, that's why I've heard, but I don't know how true that is. I heard it like a couple of weeks ago, and I'm like, that's kind of cool, and also kind of sad, but Toadscrawl and Toadscrawl are banging. He's actually passed in future, given how some of the Paradox Pokemon are based on Megas. I doubt they'll do it, but Mega Paradox would be interesting. Oh, mate, imagine, like, future Paradox Mega Garchomp that's actually good. Joe in shower. Pixar didn't happen. Druddigon. We need to drop Nudigon. Uh, we need to drop... That's Druddigon with no clothes on, Nudigon. Um, we need to drop... Druddigon before we get to Lunala, because it does have Moonblast. How's the rest of the weekend? Oh, fantastic. I, I met loads of wonderful people. I met way more people that are, like, like that enjoy this channel than I realized I would meet. Like, I was like, oh, wow, well, maybe I'm not completely washed up. That's crazy, dude. Uh, does battles on the casual ladder. Only lost one. Managed to be infamous Trick Room Ice Rider. Oh, well done. Yeah, Gyarados is already great. Like, can't complain there. Oh, and I enjoyed the rest of the weekend because I got to spend a lot of time with a lot of people that I don't get to see very often. So just lovely, wholesome vibes. Lots of laughs. Lots of me raising my voice because I'm a loud fucking bastard. And yeah, just a jolly good time. I didn't get to see Wolfie, though. Wolf was there, but I didn't get to see him. So that was a little bit sad, but... I'm going to max knuckle this fucking morp. Met some people had absolutely fanboy meltdown when they saw me and Joe waiting for something. Almost cried when they left. Oh, that's well cute. You know what's not a jolly good time? An essay? I mean, an essay on why Tyrastar is the most wonderful, most beautiful creature in the world. That, that'd that be a fun thing to write. I think I could get a few pages out of that. Not a Oh, the Cynthia shoot's gone up on the spicy side. Hot diggity damn. Let's go. Right, an essay about me? Nah, CBA. Vincent's home now. Way! So you were somewhere else. I guess you could say you had to Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> It's here to be your guys at EUIC. I'll be. I'm. I'm going to try and do EUIC every year, no matter where it is. I want to try and do Liverpool every year. I was talking to. I was talking to my friend Tom the other day, and I was like, I really want to do MegaCon in January, obviously, because I love MegaCon, and I always go, and I always, uh, and I also want to do Liverpool regionals, and I'm kind of worried because. Um, I'm wor I've got a feeling, I've got a sinking feeling that Megacon and Liverpool Regionals are going to end up on the same day next year. Like the same weekends. Because Megacon was the last week of January this year. And Liverpool Regionals was the second to last week. Oh no, it's the other way around I think. I think Megacon was the week before and Liverpool Regionals was the, was the last week. And I think Megacon 
might be the last week of January this year, but the year before last, Liverpool was the week before. Uh, Liverpool's been in X. EOC's been XL every year except once in Germany. I think they did two years in Germany, two years in the UK. So there's a possibility it might be in Germany next year. I hope they tell us soon. It's done three years in Germany. There you go. Although, the good news is, is that a lot of the VGC community that, you know, a lot of the the, the bigger, like, um, VGC people and TCG people have been saying, Japan Worlds was so badly fucking organized. We, we didn't like doing an event in Japan because it was so poorly organized. And they've also said that UK Worlds was the best organized Worlds. So hopefully, that convinces the Pokemon company to go... Maybe we should, like, do Worlds in the UK more often. Or maybe we should do World EUIC, at least, in the UK. Uh, you guys can have that. Yeah, Megacon was the 14th and the 15th, and then the, the Liverpool Regionals was, like, towards the end of the month. I thought it was too... Uh, but Joe said earlier to meet Street. Ah, fair play. I assume Justice Joe. Justice Joe! That's a superhero name. UK's good, but too many Gregs. I mean, Gregs is baller, so steak bait for the win. Not a fan. Well, the good news is we do have other places to eat. Like, where the spoons, baby? Pam was just a mess because they'd never had to take a massive hungry home crowd into consideration. Yeah, fucking hell. What are these weather spoons? We got Wendy's in the UK, you'll be fine. We have got Wendy's. And we've got better McDonald's than America. <laughs> As confirmed by our American friends who have come over and been like, Yeah, your McDonald's fucking slaps, dude. I'm to wait outside for spectator passes in that heat without at least offering water for hydration. Yeah, very weird. Very weird. Uh, Hugo says, Jesus, uh, sorry dude, I don't believe in him, but more power to you. Whenever I order, they never send me the straws or forks. Oh, when they send you the frosty with no straw. And if you have regular, normal, like, plastic household straws, you're like, these do nothing. These are too thin. Oh, Greg Davis is great. Man's gonna eat my cheesy load of chips with my fingies. Yep. Yeah. We're going to try the food at Weatherspoons. Like, the food at Weatherspoons is surprisingly above mid. Like, it's not the best food you'll ever eat, but it's tasty enough to be like, that was good. And the price helps bump it up a little bit, because you're like, wow, this is really fucking cheap. I just fed three people for 30 pounds. What the fuck? That never happens. Frosty Widow straw in a hotel room is tragic. You try drinking it, and you're like, that's how we eat in Belgium. How we drink in Belgium. We call it a Belgian dip. It's above mid, but good enough how cheap it is, yeah. The UK's on my bucket list, a place I want to travel to. So, as someone who lives in the UK, I find that so weird. Like, there are there are so many places in the world that are so incredible. Be it the people, the architecture, the, the sweeping scenery, and then there's England. That's just mid as fuck. It's just a place. Uh, who do you think is the most known person all of history? Uh, honestly, I think it's probably someone who's done something very atrocious, who I'm not going to name in, in here because I don't want to say their name. But I feel like everybody knows who that guy is for, for the, the worst reasons, you know? A hotel with no tea facilities? That's disgraceful. Uh, I haven't watched the Tales of the Empire trailer. But I get the vibe I'll probably enjoy it because it has Star Wars at the start of the name. Yeah, don't say who you think of Chow either. Yeah, exactly. We don't, we don't want to, you know. Not that he needs promotion, but... Uh, Dad's phoned me to say he finally got a passport. I told him, cool, now you can fuck off out of the country. And he's like, yeah, and I won't return. I mean, not a bad shout. That solves your problem. There was tea making but no teaspoons. Oh, did it have those pathetic little stirring sticks? I fucking hate those. How are you supposed to squeeze a tea bag with that? They bend. London was nice enough, but as I told a local, it's very gritty. We do like grit, especially in winter. Keeps the roads from being too icy, you know? Yeah, Travel Lodge love those fucking stupid, pathetic things. It's not very travelogical, if you ask me. Can we just stop giving a shit about the turtles, by the way, and just bring back plastic straws? 
I had a takeaway the other night, because obviously I was away from home, and they, they gave out plastic straws with the takeaway, and I was just like, oh my god, this feels like a fucking cheat code. This has made my meal so much better. Oh, it's not the worst. Like, Travel Lodge is fine, and it's normally pretty cheap. Especially if you get one that's, like, a couple of stops on the, the like, metro or the tube or whatever, away from where you are. Like, as much as I love being right next to an event where, um... Where I'm competing or where I'm going to be appearing or something like that. As much as I'd prefer to stay right next to it because it's less walking, I don't mind staying a couple of tube stops away. Yeah, here's your paper straw to use in your plastic cup. <laughs> Wife was thinking we'll move to Holland. I mean, Holland's a nice place to live. And if it gets him away from you so you can just have a fun time, you know, good shout. Marks on the walls, actual hole in the wall to cover for the people. Wouldn't stay. I was right outside the smoking area as well. Fucking hell. Please don't support single-use plastics. I'm not supporting it. I'm just... I would like to have them personally. For me. Barely got away with using Google Translate in Japan on printed signs. Or we need to find a better alternative to paper straws. Because paper straws are just annoying. Like, paper straws legitimately change the taste of the thing you are drinking. And it means you also have to drink it really quickly. Otherwise, your straw just dissolves into nothing. So they need to they need to make something that is not plastic, that is not... Carry reusable straw. No, right, Marty? I have a reusable straw. But when it comes to things, the consistency of a McDonald's milkshake or a Wendy's Frosty, it's no good. It's no good. They don't. They're not good. Tragedy of the commons. I know, right? Imagine being common like Liam. I need to complete shield again because uh, my switch broke and I had to get it repaired. Oh, shit, dude. Use your mouth as flesh. But my mouth doesn't work as a straw. I can't put my face into a milkshake because I have a beard. And a moustache. And they're two really important parts of my sex appeal, so I can't get rid of them. Metal straws are the silicon tips of the bee's knees. Oh, I'll show you my silicon tips. Paper straws are the worst invention known to mankind. I have to buy metal straws and silicon straws because paper straws are against my beliefs. I was not calling you common. I mean, don't be sorry, because I am common. I was born in Derby. That's like, I'm pretty sure the first ever factory was built in Derby. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't come more common than me, dude. Like, I grew up in a household where we called the corner shop around the corner a very different and very not okay nowadays word, because that was just what you were told it was called as a kid. You were like, oh, can you go to the <coughs> shop? Obviously, no one say it in chat. You'd be risking a ban. Is that what tragedy of the commons means? Oh, I don't know these things. I'm too common to know these smart things. Charles, how you doing? Thank you for that brownie the other day. Guys, did you know Charles sells brownies and they're fucking amazing and they're gluten-free? Charles, uh, wait. Can you put, okay, Charles, can you put the, the name of your website in the chat, but don't put it as a website with dots because it'll get, it'll get removed. Oh, have you, wait, do you not want it to be known yet? Because I'm pretty sure it's Charles GF Goodies. I think it's that. And then it's dot... I don't know if you've gone dot .co.uk or dot .net. I do, I just need to open it. Ah, fair, fair. Okay, well, we will... You'll find out in the future. What's your thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws? I don't know, mate, I've not played it, but it looks fantastic. Did I get the name right? Oh, I saw me! Happy post EYC. Happy post WrestleMania. Like, uh, Charles GF Goodies. Got a little link tree thingy. I uh, have the Etsy shop when it goes live. Nice. Awesome. When it's open, tell me and I will be like, here, here it is. You nonce. <laughs> Look at that Lunala. Was silicon strawberry good for a milkshake? Also important question, what flavor milkshake? I'll, I'll go strawberry or banana or vanilla. I find chocolate milkshake to be a bit mid, personally, but that's because I've proper gone off chocolate lately. It's an ADHD thing, like, uh, chocolate has stopped giving me serotonin for some reason, so I'm just like, eh. Damien Priest, baby! Finish the story, right? Drew at Castle... No, uh, Jey Uso's number one contender for Drew, uh, for, for Damien. Love a good vanilla milkshake, right? Strawberry milkshake tastes like medicine. Get better medicine, dude. Uh, are you into or watch horror movies? Or not really? I like horror movies. I don't watch them so much lately, because, like... I, I prefer a thriller. Uh, my favorite... My favorite horror movie... 
is my favorite one that actually makes me jump is Sinister, because the jump scares in that legitimately always get me. Uh, but my favorite, I think, actual horror is the first Saw movie, because I like that all of the gore is mostly implied, and it allows you to use a bit of your imagination a bit more. Uh, do you experience cycle of interest with food as a non-ADH person? Understand? Yeah, like, basically, there will be, like, for a, for a long time, and actually still a little bit, like, the snack that I would like to have the most that would get me like, whoa, I feel like I'm in a really good mood and I'm ready for the day, would be a Rice Krispie Square. Like, Rice Krispie Squares were, like, my go-to fucking serotonin food. It'd be like, okay, I need a little pick-me-up, I'll have a Rice Krispie Square. Great, I feel amazing, I could do anything. And then, once you have it too much, <laughs> you go... Uh, I, I don't I don't even think I want this now. Like, I like it, but I don't think I want it. It happens. Hyperfixation go brrr. Could you be the guy torturing people in sort? No, because I'm not uh, fictional. I'm very real. I did rewatch Trade of Outlaws. I want to see more before I decide if I want it, though. I mean, the only thing I've seen against Star Wars Outlaws is, Ugh, why are we playing as a girl? That's so wokey, woke, woke, woke. And I'm like, okay, so... There's nothing actually bad with the game so far. Good to know. <laughs> so happy that Cody won. We all are. He looked great with the fucking belt as well. But yeah, I love me some Saw. And Saw 10 was surprisingly good. Thanksgiving movie had some great effects. I do like practical effects over CGI, ideally. Like, I love some of the old school horrors as well. Like, Hellraiser was great. Um, I love the Nightmare on the Street was my favorite, like my favorite series for a long time. And unironically, Freddy vs. Jason is my favorite Freddy Krueger movie. It's definitely not the best Friday the Thirteenth movie, but it's it's my favorite Elm Street adjacent movie. Like I just really like it. I can quote most of it. Uh, I don't right. People get annoyed about playing as the girl when the game's actually good, and they're the same motherfuckers who, when they play Pokemon, play as the little girl. Even though they're not a little girl. They're like, oh yeah, I, I always play as the girl character because I don't want to look at a little boy the whole time. And you're like, okay. Then you know there's a different way of word in that, right? And it sounds a lot worse than the way you're putting it. Have you seen the Terrifiers? No, is that good? I don't read horror books. Oh, I can stop you there. I don't read books. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the last book I read. The closest I've got to reading a book is reading the One Punch Man manga, and that's purely because I got jealous that Sophie knew more of what happened than I do. Yeah, exactly, Katie, exactly. People are so fucking weird nowadays. I'm gonna go for a dive ball on this one. Terrifies and insane, both of them. I might catch them at some point. Jason X is hilarious. Like, I want to show Sophie Jason X because it's... It's, like... If you look up So Bad It's Good Movie in the dictionary, there's a picture of fucking Jason X because it's such a terrible movie, but it's also fucking hilarious. Like, he freezes a woman's head in liquid nitrogen and then smashes it into millions of pieces on the desk. <laughs> because she's, like, she's using it to, like, freeze, like, fruits and stuff or whatever and then smash them with a hammer. <laughs> It's so fucking funny. Young trans person, I had to always say, Oh, I accidentally chose the girl character. Oh, I'm such a klutz. Uh, well, I can't lose all my progress now. Oh, well. Well played. 157 in speed. Ah, oh, so close. It should be 140. That's not so close at all. Bastards. Bastards. The bit with the sleeping bags. Oh, my God. Like Hobo with a shotgun funny. Oh, funnier than that. It's funnier than Driller Killer. Oh, please never watch Driller Killer. As soon as I'm done, what's the Honestly, best things in Gen 8. Oh, absolutely. Love me some DAs. Want to listen to audiobooks? Yeah, mate, audiobooks are banging. Like, I want to listen to, like, um, like Sophie. I, I might save up for some, um, some Audible tokens so that on Sophie's Audible, I can listen to, like, Dooku Jedi Lost and stuff. I've seen uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. That's the is, that's the one where, um, like, there's a bunch of teenagers staying near Tucker and Dale, and the teenagers think that they're the the ones killing them when it's just like freak accidents. I love that shit. If that's the one I'm thinking of, it's so stupid, but I love it. Why can't people just be normal about a character in a video game? Uh, I mean, 
we're living in a world, Anthony, where I won't say their name, but a noted YouTuber hacked, like, like, yeah, like, modified Pokemon. I want to say it was Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so they could play as the girl character, but with bare feet. That that's the world we live in. Better question: Why can't people be normal? I know, right? What is normal nowadays? I'll tell you what is normal. Not wanting to see the children characters' feet. Yeah, you heard. You heard, Katie. Do you like Goosebumps? Uh, I used to when I was a kid. Yeah, it's proper dodgy. No names in chat because we don't promote people that are weird and creepy and assholes. Yeah. My library is a lot of Star Wars books. May I also want to read uh, Master and Apprentice. That's the Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan book, right? What's the Asajj Ventress Quillen Voss book called? Is it, I, I want to say Dark Disciple, but I think I'm wrong. I'm going to go back to pretend I didn't hear you tell us that, Liam. I preferred that time when I didn't know about that, Mart. Yeah, right. Read the new Danny Phantom book. Star Wars fan. Uh, have you had a look at Star Wars Unlimited, new TCG game? No. Although I'm not a big... Oh, thank you, Gizmo. I thought I was right, but I kept second-guessing myself when I was trying to explain to Sophie. Um... By the way, anyone can join now. Isn't coming up on my feed. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't have to come up on your feed. You can just go into the Dynamax Adventures and start an Anything Goes Dynamax Adventure with that code, and it should... It should come up. We're trying. Oh. Do you think maybe I'm, I've been disconnected from the internet? Let me back out. Everyone back out. Oh, the library app? Oh. Hang on. Uh, oh, no, I'm on the internet. Let me disconnect and reconnect just in case. Tells the Empire looks so good. I bet it does. I'm going to watch the trailer after this. The One Punch Man Season 3 trailer looked good. Although it's not dubbed, so I got no, I'm got. i not going to watch it for like a good year or something. But yeah, I'm not a big TCG person in general. But um, I just like the pictures. So I'll probably just... If I collect any Star Wars Unlimited, it'll be purely for the pictures. Mate, if they have exposed midriff Padme, I'm down. <laughs> Book of Bill? What if they know I'm not 18? I, I wouldn't worry about it, man. I'm like, normally, most apps that will let you buy books and things like that, they they assume you're over 18 because you paid with a credit card. Oh, I knew. Oh, right, Martin, how are you two doing? Uh, yeah, invite others. We've done that. And then invite others. Let me check the Star Wars and a bit sets for you, Liam, for Padme. It's got to be bare mid with Padme. I'm not interested. <laughs> 2006, Liam, just like... Oh, man. I didn't know. I didn't know Natalie Portman's so dreamy. And then, you know, 2024, Liam being like, yeah, is she kind of mid, though, bro? <laughs> we, should we shouldn't rate people. That's not okay. Uh, I want to get it signed by the guy writing about my childhood. Would I? I mean, what are the chances that between now and you turning 18 in less than a year, are you going to get to meet the guy who wrote the Book of Bill? Most parents would be mad if you get books, yeah. It's just a book. It's just a normal book. But there's pictures of tits on the front. It's just a book on tits. I mean, on science. I'm all right, but I'm reminded Animal Crossing exists. Your island going to be messy. We shouldn't rate people, but I and everyone else are amazing. Oh, Princess Katie, just an absolute thing of beauty. Let's go. As long as you're over 18. <laughs> as long as you're over 20. There is a card with the midriff Padme. Oh, let's fucking go. Star Wars Unlimited, my new favorite card game. Diddle -diddle -diddle -diddle. Diddle -diddle -diddle. Let's go for the ghosty and then the dark. And then the normal. Maybe. Rate the strength of their character and nothing else. Yeah, but you can't tell people's character just by looking at them. Because some people appear to be very lovely. And then you meet them and you're like, wow, I never want to speak to you ever again. You're awful. Like me! My island is half finished, but I cheated to get the resources I wanted. Wow. Cheater, cheater. Turnip eater. There we go. Aggressive negotiations. Uh, it's on a like dinosaur or some shit. I haven't seen Star Wars in many years. Ah, nice! I brought my dinosaur! Who eats force field dogs? Star Wars Unlimited. Padme aggressive negotiations. Images.
Oh yeah. Ah, uh, it's not it's not front on though. That's sad. <laughs> nice Toy Story reference, right? Assume someone has a good character until they prove me wrong, which might move on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Once someone proves themselves to be an arsehole, I'm like, wow, you're an arsehole. Fuck you, bruh. That's okay. There's plenty of promo images online, but I, it, you know, it's just not my go-to these days. <laughs> my go-to is Tira Star. It's got Anakin in the background as well. That won't put me off, don't you worry. <laughs> If anything, I'll look him in the eyes and go, yeah, you know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> Call his G-Max form. Uh, Machamp, for sure. He looks baller. I kind of wish... I, I wish Machamp would permanently switch to long tights. What's the T, Rach? You're forgetting the real best girl of Star Wars. Merrin? Oh, I thought you were going to say Luke. Did I ever tell you about Ahsoka Tano? Card. Since you did VGC, Liam, I'll ask when you do regionals or ERC. Have you got the promo TCG card? I did! I got the promo TCG card! We got the Nest Ball. I know you hate it, Gizmo. You know how that makes me feel? I know, that's literally why I said it. Oh, Toy Story 3 is banging. I don't want Toy Story 5, but they're going to force it on us, and I'll end up watching it. Not cool, man. I mean, that's just me in a nutshell, isn't it? Who wants to watch me nut shell? Stop this. Uh. Should I switch Starmie out? Uh, yes. I think so. Actually, no, 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 uh, yes, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Because Dracloak is still weak to Lunala, but we'll, we'll have the bonus of having moves that are super effective. Well, this is the thing, is the, um, the competitor bags, I think, are all the same for all three, like... I, want, I guess I would say disciplines. Or oh, four, sorry, because go as well. Um, but I, I, it's always so geared towards TCG. I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> but then what could they give us for VGC? Apart, like, that would be cheap enough to distribute? Because it's like, they can't really give us, like, a custom pro controller. They could give us a pro controller, like, skin or something. Or, like, a nah, case would be too expensive. Like a Switch case. Remember to Liam saying, once someone proves itself to be an asshole comment? Oh, Rach, you knew I was an asshole from day one. But that Cynthia shoot, though. God damn. Mommy. Bam, bam. It's me, I'm the asshole. You're not an asshole, Metapod. You're not an asshole, Matt. Switch case would be like 20 quid. Yeah. I mean, how much would a play mat be for them? Oh, the first Cynthia Vidya is up. I'm going to watch that. I don't remember it. I still love it when you say it. Say what? Penis burrito. You're our asshole though, Liam. Damn right. I'm the fucking best ever. One day. <laughs> I'll get there. Yo, those hips though. Yo, that booty though. Yeah, the Cynthia video alone is worth the $20 subscription. <laughs> it's playing that. She said about 15 to 20 depending on material. Oh, damn. Damn! Do do go on, mate. So barely any use was something. Back in the 3DS era, they do labels and stickers that we stuck to the console. That's so lame. Uh, Toy Story 4, I did not like it. Actually, set my anxiety off. Oh Jesus! I was just disappointed in it. I was just like, this didn't need to exist. Reminds me, did you see the Umbreon swimsuit? I tagged you and Sophie. No! Hang on. Hang on. Let's go over to Night Angels Twitter. See if there's more thirst posts. Hey, the blue in your hair looks sick, by the way. And how cheeky. You have posted an image, a mirror image from the back. But you hid the booty. See how it is? Oh, I did see this! Yes! I want Sophie to buy it immediately. If she can afford to. We need to get it for Sophie. I love that. We need to get it for Sophie. I don't get why they just do a code for in-game appearance and just change what the appearance is every quarter of the IC. Oh, that'd be kind of sick. They could program, like, competitor-specific in-game outfits. That'd be a really good way to, like, out hackers as well. Imagine if you turn up at a tournament with the, like... EUIC 2023 exclusive in-game outfit pieces, 
but they have you on record as not competing in that event at all. So they can just be like, your game's hacked. <laughs> You're out. Is that Woody leaving the game? Because that was Woody losing his voice box. Pissed off about the film in general. I mean, for Toy Story 5, they'll reunite with Woody because that's just, that's just what they'll do. They won't have a Toy Story without him. Uh... You bet the mostly. I know other people in other communities I have mooched, uh, mooched off other people and brags about it. People brag about fucking mooching. Ha! <laughs> I didn't get my audience legitimately. Yeah, imagine that. What losers. Wait, did we just fight another Morpeko? I'm so confused. But I oh, know you had a Morpeko last time, Liam. Getting a sticker and we're getting a card that's currently valued at like 30 quid. I know. Although the, the promo card that I got, the Nest Ball, is, is valued at priceless because it's for Sophie. And she'll keep it forever. Yeah, we're getting a fifth Toy Story. Apparently we're going to get an Austin Powers 4 at some point. But like Mike, Mike Myers is not getting any younger. So see how that pans out. Another Toy Story is an actual crime. The fourth one was a crime. Yeah, that's fair play, Katie. Like, you, you would think we get something special, but... It's all just VGC stuff. The Nest Ball is priceless. It's a very nice stamp. Yeah, right? How was the UIC? I had a bloody great time. The competing was bad because I changed my team at the last minute. My hair is a mess in Sophie's latest Insta post. Yo, those fucking wings, though. Hang on, this is this is our friend Ember's Insta post that she just posted where she's got fucking badass wings on that move. That's sick. Oh, no, Instagram only wants to show me one post from people I follow and then wants to show me a load of suggested posts, so... Sophie did an Insta post. She looked great as Sonya as well. Oh, it's this one. Where is... Where is you in these pictures? In her latest Insta post? Wait. Oh, latest post. On Twitter. Oh! Well, when you say post, I assume Insta. I never said Insta. I assumed Insta. Twitch 4 was so bad, it literally made me get in an anxious, depressed state because the voice box ripping out. Yeah, it's weird, man. Oh, I'm sorry I had to go through that, though. That's fucking awful. This multiple platform ho, oh, let's do it. Uh Mostly you, thanks mate. Cheers, mate. I don't think I even want to catch the Chansey because shiny Chansey haunts my dreams. Uh, I know how you feel. I changed my deck the day of the UIC and it didn't go well as Big Muffin was saying. Mate, why did I take Protect off Polyrath and give it the choice band? I'm just gonna have to accept that the life orb does damage to me, man. I needed Protect on Polyrath so bad, and it ruined me. And I should have brought Bundle and not Archaladon. Or literally Vika Vault with Guillotine would have been better. Incidentally, right? Hello, Sophie Jane. How you doing, you god girl? What's happening? Side on pineapple juice instead of squash? That's good for making your spunk taste nice to other the people that are going to eat it. Don't eat your own. That seems like a weird thing to do. Uh, I'm good without it. Shiny Blissey, literally nothing. You don't like the Rotten Eggs, Chansey? I don't like Rotten Eggs, mate. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to Sophie's Twitter. Gizmo's hair is a mess. Gizmo's not in that picture. That's Tom and Victoria and Rich and Marty. That's Patters and someone who looks very confused. I think he's looking at Patters going, is that Patters? That's Patters and Bex and Sophie. Oh, chocolate Kieran. I didn't get a picture with Kieran. It's like green eggs and ham. I don't know if it's ever happened to anyone else to get disturbed. Scary scene in film so badly where you won't eat properly. Um, we had a friend who thought they could handle uh, the movie Jigsaw. And within a, the first couple of scenes, they were like, do you know what? I gave it a chance. I, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Good Lord. I'm out. And they, they just had to sit outside while we watched the rest of the movie. Oh, Gizmo, your hair's not that much of a mess. All right, it's not perfectly lust, but it's fine. Kieran told me a bit MCM. Hell yeah, can't wait. Fucking love Kieran. 
You hang out with Pat? Yeah, Pat's a good friend of us. So yeah, I did. Hang out with Pat and Bex. Mate, Pat and uh, Callum, with um, with Bex and Sky respectively, are continuing my Pokemon YouTuber trend, UK Pokemon YouTuber trend of punching well above our weight with our significant others. <laughs> Like, I love Callum, and I love Pat so fucking much. And then you see both of their misses, and you're like, lads, how have you managed this? <laughs> and I'm the same. I'm the same. People look at Sophie, and they go, that's the guy you've chosen? It's okay, because Callum and Pat are wanting to do a lot more events, so hopefully. And Luke as well. Mostly because we all miss everyone. You can have Guinness, Sophie Jane. What have you done? Venture open to anyone who can get in. Yes, anyone who gets in, as long as if you get into it, you don't join the next one until, unless it looks like no one's going to join about a minute left, you know. Officially on my jollies. Oh, wait. So uh, we're getting this Zumba video, right? Where's this Zumba video? <laughs> Hello, who am I? Nice to see you again. I'm not pulling above my weight, but tugging beneath it. That's the single life. No, punching, not pulling, punching. Airport pint. I fly away tomorrow. Mmm, any excuse. I also felt sick so bad I had to stop using the Lime Hand Wash and Vanilla plug-in. Toy Story's voice box, you're not only room I have to take for a week, put me off certain smells. Oh, you're okay now though, right, Amanda? Sounds like a good fair rule. I have to chain charge my Switch. I have it. I haven't turned it on in so long, it's fully dead of charge. Oh, damn, dude. Well, no worries, because we're going to be here for... At least till 11. I might go a little bit longer because I did start an hour late, but uh, we'll see. 4 p.m., not the airport now. Come on, mate. Sort it out. Should have become a Pokemon, but my partner is above my league. Oh, mate. Isn't it satisfying, though? Because you, like, you look back at, like, your young self. Like, I look back... At, well, I, I haven't got any photos so, uh, of me as a kid, so I look back, I, I look back in my memory at, like, 14-year-old Liam and how fucking repulsive he looked. Because he, he knew nothing about his appearance and had the attitude of, someone should love me for me, so it shouldn't matter how I look. And it's like, no, 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 but someone needs to be initially attracted to you, Liam. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult for them to want to get to know you. So, you know, it's got to be a little spark there. And, um, and I'd love to show him the caliber of a girl he ends up with as his final one. And I'm just like, mate, he wouldn't believe me. 162 speed, fuck off! That's not right. Oh, well. Extensive build up to a flight, having airport pints for like 18 hours. Mate, if you're having Guinness, you're gonna need to shit in the sky. So bad. Fine now, like the smells gonna eat properly, but yeah, horrific experience. A lot of my depression like symptoms back in 2021. Oh bless you. Well I'm glad you're doing better now. That's what's most important. I had ribs today, everyone at my job wouldn't stop going on about how good they were. But you made ribs today. <gasps> the chef. Everyone gets the same stats for each raid. That's kind of banging. So you'll all get. A proper pog competitive Lunala that needs hyper training. I need a piss. Uh, I'll keep a record. Yes, please. Remember, if you want to save Lunala as a Dynamax adventure, um, and you accidentally say, uh, and, and you've got it saved, and you accidentally say no to saving it again after you've done another adventure, immediately soft reset, and you will have it back on your list. That makes sense. It's good for girls, lots of iron. Iron these nuts. Please don't iron my nuts. Can't be a good rack of ribs. I'm off red meat at the moment, but that's more because of my IBS. My, like, my, my stomach at the moment, if I eat red meat, just aches for fucking days. So it's like, okay, guess I'll have chicken, which is why I've gone off Wendy's a little bit. Because their chicken burgers are good, but I'm there like, it's not a Baconator. If I'm at Wendy's and I'm not having a Baconator, why am I here? As a girl, I don't need iron. I need estrogen and rum. <laughs> Did they do that in bars? I'll, I'll take an SD and rum, please. Uh, here we go. Right, while that's while that's loading up and getting people in, I'm gonna go for a little little uh, wee willy winky tinkly burb pretzel bacon. Yeah, that sounds insane. Burb.
Oh, look, it's a bacon cheeseburger. Oh, I imagine. Oh, yeah, I didn't click ready to battle. I mean, if time runs out, we'd just redo, wouldn't we? You know, it's a change in the bicep department. Go on, mate. Still scared to leave my bed. You might as well do a photo shoot while you're there at this point. Keeps not coming up on my feed. When you say not coming up on your feed, Hugo, are you, are you remembering to go to the Dynamax lair? Like the max lair in the Crown Tundra. Talk to the scientist. And then click on anything goes. And then put the code in. 36363639. And then click invite others. Because that's what you need to do. I get confused when you say it's not coming up on my feed. Do you mean you're just getting connected to other people? Because you can't get there through the Ycom. Into my chef coat on, but unbuttoned. Hey, hey, that actually sounds pretty banging. Go on. You'd have to post it on your Twitter, though. I think that's the only place that would be, uh, it would be allowed. <laughs> Sounds banging. Let's go. Wap them out. Wap them out. Oh, yeah. Make sure you connect to the internet on the Ycom. <laughs> Excuse me? What's up, Gizmo? Why have you farted? <laughs> you first, Daddy. I don't have a chef's jacket. So I could not. Oh, honey glaze ribs. Don't threaten us with a good Tim. <laughs> oh, Tim's great. Love Tim. Let's go! Here we giggity go. We've got to press invite others. There you go. Yeah, that's how you'll do it. So try that with the next one then. Ice berm! Serene Grace Ice Berm. <gasps> Wait! There's no point because it's piss weak, but if I run a trick room team, I could run the Dunsparce. <gasps> Or Eevee like Dunsparce. <laughs> Better a good Tim than a bad Tim. Better indeed. I'm in my must get gains era. Do it. Homemade chicken chow mein. Nice. There we go. Gizmo says, uh. Oh, just for future reference, Ingles in Spanish is spelled I-N-G-L-E-S. Ingles. <clears throat> oh, I know. Oh. Oh. Does he have to stop myself from burnout? That's how into it I've gotten. Damn, bruh. I can't spell it in English. It's my only language. Nice. Bruh. Bacon torpedo, bruh. When I switch on charger, forgot to plug the plug in. Yeah, that'll do it. At least it can't vault switch out to another Pokemon. True that. Bad Tim is my favorite villain. Naughty Tim. Tim's a nonce. I thought the wire was broken, but nope. It was the connection to the wall that was broken. I see. Oh, it's the happy dog music. Gym like four times a week with a local closure and lockdown. New one is open this month. I know I should join, but lazy self. I need to go to the gym. But also, I'm going to try and get myself in a routine at home of doing more gym stuff. I just need to get into a better routine in general. Do, 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 do. Tim Horton. Not to confuse with Tim Horton. This wasn't plugged in, not broken. Better foolish than devastated. Yeah, that's true. That's a very positive way of looking at it. Don't go as far as I have to get a borderline obsessive and your mental health is solely dependent on how well your lifts go on that particular week. Yeah, man. You want to do more gym stuff? Why don't you ask him out? Wait! I just want to lose a bit of my podge. Because I'm very happy with my arms, although bigger would be fine. But I can, I, I normally can get my arms a little bit bigger just by doing some at-home stuff. Um, 
And my legs are fine. My legs have been great since I've been at fucking school because I did like sprinting after school. It's like it's about the only sport I could fucking do because it wasn't on dependent on monitor this small object as it flies through the sky and then strike it as soon as it comes near you. It's just run. Remember running from bullies? Do that. Oh, my diet's awful, but I'm very good at calorie deficit. So, like, I'm very good at cutting weight just by reducing my calorie intake because I live quite a sedentary lifestyle. I know there's all kinds of macro bollocks I can do, but I've, I've got, I don't have the mental free time for that. So, like, I can't do super intensive macronutrient monitoring because it's, like, it's just another thing that will distract me from work. Uh, I made a family Pokemon region based on South America and named it Aurora. Interesting that you based it on South America and called it Aurora, because isn't the Aurora in the northern, like, more visible from, like, North America, like Alaska? Powerful legs from ice hockey, they're chonky. Uh, if your diet is not too good but you work out, will it balance out? Not necessarily, it depends on a lot of factors, like how much you're working out, how bad your diet is, how strong or weak your metabolism is, which may change when you're in your mid-twenties, which is what happened to a lot of us. Yeah, the Cynthia shoot is good. Just you wait. Even with the calorie deficit, a bad diet is tough. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I have, like, like trust me, it, it's been the most effective thing that I've used personally. Like, um, like, before calorie deficit, I was on, like, I was around about the 200 pound mark. And then, with calorie deficit, I've been able to get myself down to, like, 170. And I'm floating around the 170 at the moment, but that's also, um, that's also because I've cut off the, ex like, I stopped doing the exercise for a while. So I found that my baseline now is 170 because I've got better, I've got better um, at not overeating. So I'm no longer overeating. So I can maintain with limited exercise 170. My goal personally for me is 160, which I think realistically, once I get back on my exercise kick, I'll easily be able to achieve. And that's good enough for me. Because I don't want to be big, big. I just want to be able to just drop my little, my little pot belly. Uh, I, I work out six days a week and can't outrun my shit diet. Shit. But with the amount you're working out, you probably need a bigger calorie intake, I assume. Which means you're probably taking in much more, like, fat and stuff than I am. So maybe it's that that's giving you the issue. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, swimming's kind of banging, but... My, my problem is, I want to be super confident with no shirt on, which you kind of need to go swimming. So I haven't been swimming in years because of that. Steamed hams, very good. Mate! I actually had a decent day out on Sunday with my dad for a change. It was like, fancy going to a museum? Fuck yeah, go on then. Spent about five hours there, got a cute little plane keyring. Mate, museums are banging, and they're free. Which is great. Let's go, lads. I'm gonna go to the gym for the games from this free time. Mate, fucking everything is bothered by free time. Well, in the UK, at least, most museums are. Oh, this one was not free. Oh, shit. Uh, the Natural History Museum, which has all of the animal taxidermy and stuff like that, and all the dinosaur skeletons, that's that's free. So if you guys are ever in London, the Natural History Museum is free to get in. So is the British Museum, I'm pretty sure. Used to be skinny as a rake last five years, blew up like a balloon. How old are you now? Because when I hit about 23 to 25, my metabolism fell off a cliff. And I went from being super scrawny, could eat like McDonald's seven days a week, and not gain anything. Oh, the British isn't? Ah, uh, it's all right. Natural History Museum is better anyway. Spent a grand total of like 100, around about 100 quid. That's awful. Fuck that. But, um, but yeah. And then when I get 23 to 25, I realized I can't eat what I want anymore. Fire baby dragon dracoy grass capybara named Grassybara and water platypus named Aquapus. Aquapus. Oh dear, Aquapus. <laughs> Bought a lot of shit in the gift shop. Yeah, gift shop shit is expensive. Why did you have to pay museum to pay for all that stuff in it? <gasps> 34, I put on Mega Weight when I was like 29 to 30. Oh man. It's always at some point in the 20s, our metabolism just falls off a cliff. You could, in theory, get a really effective workout 30 to 45 minutes, like three to four times a week. Problem is the workout would have to be brutal. And not to mention that I'd have to remember to do it, have time to do it, 
and do it. Those are the problems there. If a platypus were a Pokemon, who gave this monstrosity egg bomb milk drink and drill peck, right? I was very sad when my body decided it couldn't eat whatever the fuck I wanted. Uh, and now I have to work hard to look hot, what the fuck body, right? Capybara, very cute. It's okay, maybe one day I'll still get naked for money, you know. <laughs> maybe. Once you win Sophie round, dibs on scientist trade. Yeah, let me pot trade with the scientist. So many ears just pricked up then. You're back into good shape for him. 35. Mate, set. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Oh, no, that hurt. I forgot. Oh, no. He said, I want to get back into good shape from 35. And I was about to be like, mate, same. Forgetting that I'm 36 this year. Oh, that was pain. I have only myself to blame there. Perry the platypus. So Lego model of a McLaren, Senna, Gator. I bet that's good. Whatever it is. Need a trilby hat and stand on its hind legs. No, because that's known as copyright infringement. And that's quite bad. They already did copyright infringement to cheese strings. Keep forgetting your 35, same. 280,000 pieces? Good Christ. That is a big one. Finally, uh, I caught a stream again. Mad bitch, your first one post Mania. Just, uh, I'm gonna just say Roman Triple H and Samantha Irving are Mount Rushmore WWE. Samantha is there twice? Bruh. Evil team Luz du Sol, which is Portuguese, Portuguese for sunshine because they gaslight the public. Oh, damn. Rock fall, baby. Oh, uh, you're right. For cough. So it's my dream car, but won't mind owning one. I don't know, man. I can't make a Lego. Like, how are you going to have heating in it? That'd be rough, my dude. Oh, that Togetic is confuzzled. What a prick. At least it only hit me and didn't hit the, uh, the Frost Lass. Ricochet's a lucky man for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah, you filthy bitch. I mean, to be fair, Samantha's very lucky as well, because Ricochet is not exactly an ugly man, is he? Will they be able to do any Adventures Night Switches and happy about not having to be charged longest time? That's all right. We'll probably be doing some of these again on Saturday, because I feel like we're not going to hit... Um, I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to get the Lunala today, maybe. Insurance on one of those things would be eye-watering? Yeah, because, like, Lego, unless you super glue it together, mate, stepping on one would be eye-watering. Trying to think of IV hunting? Just IV hunting. Like, shiny would be a bonus, but if we get one that is the zero IV, I'm taking it. Because it's the competitive aspect that I'm more interested in. Not the Lego one, Liam. For fuck's sake, listen. You're buying a Lego car. Stop pretending. <laughs> Not even buying it! No, you're buying it. It's fine. It's been arranged. The position has been filled. Bring heat warmers into the car. Do you mean seat warmers? You can use legendaries in VGC. Uh, you can, as of May, you can use one restricted Pokemon in VGC, which is basically box art legendaries, Calyrex forms, stuff like that. But technically, there are already legendaries that have been available in VGC, like um, Ogapon and Heatran. But now it's the proper big boy legendaries, the ridiculously overpowered legendaries. In fact, no one really needs this. Yeah, let Metapod take the scientist trade. Because Vaporeon's just going to sit there and absorb everything. So that's fine. For TCG, there's no ban list. I don't have to worry about that shizzle. Yeah, you guys just have, like, the rotation of, like, what what cards from what sets are available, right? Which changed right before EUIC. <laughs> yep, hello Zarshan on VGC teams, right? Nah, mate. Hello to Rapagos. To Rapagos having a move that is always super effective on... Um... Terrid Pokemon, regardless of type, is going to be broken as fuck. Like, you're going to have to respect Terrapagos, which is why Polyrath is staying on the team. Because that's a good thing, as I'm pretty sure Terrapagos is always going to be weak to fighting, right? Yeah, Intrepid Sword only triggering the first time. It's, it's, Zarshan's not as good. 
Unless you keep it in. Meta rotation of the IC. Not before exact same day. We lost a bunch of sets and lost major staples. Some decks majorly fell off. And some new ones could exist. Ah, yeah, yeah. Basic. There you go. That turtle's going to wreck shop. Yeah. Because it has some filthy stats as well. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm going to look at its stats now on Cerebi.net. Yeah, it's the only stellar typed Pokemon, so when it's fully terrestrialized, it doesn't have any weaknesses, right? Terrapagos is one of those annoying Pokemon, though, that I, I really don't like. That its base form has certain stats, but when it enters battle, its ability transforms it anyway into the, the other Pokemon, like the other form of it. So why the original form has base stats is beyond me. Unless neutralizing gas can stop it from turning into that form. Mate, eight, so 95 HP, 110 defense, and 110 special attack. That boy bulky. And then it retains those stats when it terrestrializes into stellar form, except its HP goes up to 160. It still says weak to fighting. Oh, shit. Do, do, do. Wait, can it be... Can Terra Shift be blocked by, um... It can't be copied by Trace. Ah, it can't be suppressed by neutralizing gas. No, it, it, apparently it can't be. And it can't be replaced by lingering aroma, so it is just pointless. Like, it's the most pointless of it. You're never going to be in battle with a Terrapagos that is in its normal form, so that's just stupid. I hate that. They've done it just to sell toys. Worst coach of the rotation, lost the only legal print of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, no! What was that? It was a bad card, but my boy... Terra Shift is for the vibes. And its special attack goes to 130 when it's in its stellar form. But then you do have to commit that to your Terra, basically. Glalie, I love him in Snow Run, but we have legal versions of him and some gorgeous art. Ah. Taser says antlers are just blue. Oh, you're on about Xerneas, right? Yeah. The, uh, the neutral form of Xerneas. Yeah, I've seen the HP jump. I just talked about it. 160 from 85. It almost doubles. Oh, from 95, sorry. It almost doubles. It's there to make sure it sucks in randomizers. Oh, my God. Should I also think I missed the next adventure, but could be able to do one after that? Nice. Yeah, we'll be here a bit longer. I think I'll go to half 11. I love that I confuse everything. Why? Who did? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if you tear a, a different mon and they're bringing Terrapagos? Uh, then it's stuck with it's not as good HP, but it's still pretty bulky. So there is that. I'm going to go with a heal ball. Uh, I'll also Google what Lunala is weak to. I'm a simple TCG player. Oh, no. Lunala is weak, is four times weak to Ghost and Dark. Those are its only two weaknesses, but they're big weaknesses. What? Terra, though, yeah. No, we're on about just in general for the Dynamax adventure. Wasn't it great last night when R-Truth got to wrestle with his childhood era, John Cena? Right. <laughs> Ignore the fact that Cena's older than him. Younger than him. T-Time Sinistry with Trapagos. Gonna go hard with the special attack boosting berry. Ooh. Hello, everybody. No, it'd have a blue one, Liam. Yeah, I thought. Uh, yeah, three six three six three six three nine. 3 6 Exclamation mark DA if one of the mods could put it in the chat, just in case, just to make sure everyone's aware of what they need to do in the Crown Tundra. 162! No, that's max. That's I'm pretty sure that's max speed. Uh, I'm fine without taking a new Pokemon home, yeah. Watch Fast X last week. Every Fast and Furious film gets more over the top. I still kind of love it. I, I don't care for them, but I'm not a car guy. Like, I, I cringe when I see a car that isn't practical. I'm like, so where'd you put your shopping in that? Look at this. It's a GTX 7 Turbo G5967. It can go 180 miles per hour. And I'm like, 
so it can go 70 on the motorway. No, it can go 180 miles per hour. No, 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 no. It can go 70 on the motorway, can't it? No, it can go more than that. No, legally. How fast can it go on the motorway? Oh, legally, 70. I'm like, so what's the fucking point? You're not a car guy, you're just a guy. I'm not just a guy, I'm the guy. I'm the best fucking guy in the world. Gets less about the cars each film. I watched Hobbs and Shaw though, that was fun, the spin-off. Fuck am I buying a fast car just to do the speed limit, right? We have people who drive pickup trucks to get progressively bigger every few years. Oh, mate. Oh, double salutes, please. Hey, everyone. Underscore at he. So WrestleMania was extremely enjoyable, wasn't it? Hell yeah. Thank you. 20 months. Ace Trainer Ultra XL. Thank you, Mumbai. You absolute legend. WrestleMania was good. Hell yeah. Kate's in, lads. Let's go. Uh, mine's practical, but multi-stories are a pain in the ass with how long it is. Oh, yeah, I bet. I thought you meant your car was multi-story, and I was like, bro is just driving around in a fucking minibus. No, no, not a minibus, I'm a double-decker, that's the one. I mean, we have people who drive and only do city driving, but for some reason have like a 4x4 off-road SUV. And we're like, why? What mountains are you going up in Derby? Driving back from Excel on Sunday, I realize why there's so many crashes, because people can't fucking drive. The kind of person cares about legal requirements, you'll never make it in a corrupted cesspit that we call the UK nowadays. What? What person cares about legal requirements? I do, because I don't want a speeding ticket, because I can't afford that. I'm not made of money. Lady want a Slim Jim Cart WrestleMania, she's like a wee granny, I loved it. In my cruise control, just do 70, and then this guy speeds past me and think nothing of it, then at the speed cameras, I passed him, then he sped again, and again, I passed him at cameras, fucking hell. For example, pickup trucks don't even need them, they're just middle-class suburbanites. Some people need them. Part of me thought MGF was gonna turn up on Raw. Nah, he's gonna be a up for life. Don't really couldn't handle him. Uh, PP does not get reset after a battle, I'm pretty sure. Bro's doing 80 to 60 to do 60 at cameras. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Well, I think, um... I think I heard recently, I can't remember the, uh, hang on, I'm gonna work it out. Also, Sol Galeo, misspelled it. Uh, actually, oh, you just missed the A in the middle instead of the E. Uh, as an ironic week to a line of the sun is weak to fire. It's so stupid. It should have, instead of, like, clear body or full metal body or whatever it is, it should have had an ability that gives it immunity to fire. Show up to bingo with LA9 and some Slim Jims. Yeah, let me please cut, please cut in front of me to get stuck at a, tw a light 20 feet from here, right? Is a more edgy WWE, but I still think they wouldn't handle MJF properly. I don't want to risk it. Uh, so... Okay, so... I think that's right. Actually. Old lady on the car, uh, kind of knows all this, just like, oh, who's this guy? I don't know who this is. This point is it's based on alchemy and isn't the sun. It's kind of dumb. It's very weird. Darkness is we Somehow a bat of darkness is weak to dark, literally everywhere at night. And Leo rolled the sun is weak to fire, so weird. Post it made for Grassy Barry because it's a trainer of flower. If the trainer accepts it, it'll dance happily around them. If they don't, it shoots bullet seeds at them. I don't want a Pokemon that hits me. I already have my dad for that. My dad does not hit me. My dad does not barely even text me now, to be fair. Uh Doodly doo. Uh I'll catch it. Oh look, it's Matt Manectric. Hell yeah. Let's do it. So.
Let's do it. Capybara is a giant guinea pig? Fucking hell. Uh, I don't want that. He is such a great lad to talk to. Matt Manetra is fucking great. Did you see Metapod now went to the gig in Knots? No, 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 no. Are there pics of the fit? I want to see what Metapod was wearing. Whee! Okay, so this is an interesting one. I learned this recently, and this is why I don't speed any, like, I say anymore. I didn't speed anyway, but why I'm really, I'm really strict about using the limiter in my car to, so that I can't literally go over the speed limit at all. If you're on a drive that is 100 miles, and you drive at a speed of 70 miles an hour, you will reach your destination, if it was like 100 miles an hour constantly, in one hour, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds. So an hour and 26, basically. If you drove at an average speed of 75 miles an hour, You'd get there in one hour, 20 minutes, and no seconds. So going five miles an hour over the speed limit for 100 miles saves you about five to six minutes tops. It's not worth it. Like, bearing in mind, you can end up with a speeding ticket and, like, a £100 fine or something and possibly points on your license or having to do some stupid course. It's not worth it. To save yourself six minutes? Fuck that noise. What a waste of time. Palpatine doesn't get water absorbed, does it? I just drive fast because I like to drive fast. Nothing to do with time. Yeah, but I like not getting tickets, so... That's why I don't drive fast. I mean, technically, I do drive fast. I drive as fast as it will let me. I mean, look at that. If you, if you up it to 80, it takes an hour and 15 minutes. So, like... 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, and you're saving 10 minutes. I've never gotten a ticket. Doesn't mean you never will. Driving for my job, I definitely can't afford to speed, yeah. This Palpatine doesn't have water absorbed. Nice. Risk of by fire, possibly killing people. Oh yeah, here's a good here's a good statistic as well, okay? This is another statistic that puts me off driving. So, you know when you stop at a certain speed, there's a stopping distance, right? Let's say there's been an accident. Um Right, let's say there's been an accident on the motorway, or on the highway or whatever, and the people involved are still in the road, like, assessing the damage or whatnot, or just getting away from the scene. At s the distance in which you stop at 70... Let let's say, right, you start braking at a distance that if you were doing 70 miles an hour, would stop you just before you made contact with the person. So you do an emergency stop at, at, X, at, at a certain point, right? And you come to a complete stop from 70 miles an hour at the point where you almost would have hit the person, but you just stopped in time, right? If you stopped at that, ex if you hit the brakes at that exact same point going 75 miles an hour, when you inevitably come into contact with that person, you'll still be traveling at 39 miles per hour. That's instant death for that person. That's how crazy it is. And that, for me, when I read that, I was like, I'm never going over the speed limit ever again. Like, that's fucking terrifying. The fact that at 70, you won't hit them from that distance, but the fact that at 75, you'll still be going almost 40 miles an hour at that point, whilst the brakes are on. I'm sorry about all my bad Pokemon puns. I just can't keep my big meowth shut. Hey! Thank you, Night Angel. Double salutes, baby, for the wonderful, the beautiful 19 months Ace Trainer Ultra XL. Let's go. Thank you very much. Water ground types are only weak to grass unless they are freeze dry or salt. Kill used on them. So, yeah, it's great typing. Oh, it's a good typing. Yeah, absolutely. I remember the adverts. Yeah. My little bear, decent for Lunala, I believe, since it has payback. Uh, what little bear is it? Hang on. Uh, beware would not be great because it's weak to Moonblast. But payback is a good move, so keep it for now. Because uh, it's immune as well to ghost moves. Uh, I am good without the Palpitoad. Yes. I should probably switch out my paralyzed Pokemon, though. But yeah, that's a fucking crazy statistic, though. Like, that, that made me fucking sick to my stomach when I was like, oh my god, like, that's... Saw a ghost coming up, maybe a switch unless someone needs it more than I. Uh, well, ghost is weak to ghost, so let's go with the water type, ideally. Beware of beware. Do do do. We're nearly there, though, lads. Bloody hell. Ooh, item, please. If you want to drive fast, become a Formula One driver. 
No thanks, I don't like using my head to dig holes in the ground. Uh, I'm gonna go with a tasty lumberry, because that'll pop and get rid of the paralysis next turn. Nice. Oh, Driplin doesn't have a ghost move in this? That's so dumb. Very 50 feet on driving because people where I am are idiots and cars. Monthly or an arm and a leg. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's expensive. Plus, and the thing to consider as well is when I'm driving to any place with Sophie, she's the passenger princess. It's my responsibility to keep her safe when I'm the driver, so I should be doing everything in my power to make sure I'm not breaking the speed limit that's there for a reason. It's there for safety. Leftovers is good. Yeah, go for it. Optician didn't appreciate my sarcasm the other day. Oh, no. Did she say... Did he or she or they say, How are you finding your vision lately? Oh, I open my eyes and I just see. Scary construction site, safety video, pro school where kids go to construction site. Last thing I saw is OG Game Boy getting dropped from behind and smashes. Jesus. Didn't show the kids getting out alive. That's how it ends. Oh, Jesus. We're setting the soul glaze week to fire and we know week to dark. What's wrong with them? Pokemon gonna Pokemon. Do you guys remember the Don't Drive Dangerous side where the car flips and destroys like a school picnic? Uh, I don't remember that one, but I remember the one where... Uh, the guy gets in the back of his mum's car and doesn't wear his seatbelt, and then she slams the brakes on and he just headbutts her in the back of the head because of the momentum. And it goes, after crushing her to death, he sat back down. That stuck with me forever. And the family who accidentally stop on the train tracks one as well. Apparently my eyes are in perfect health, and I'm just like, they're not though, are they? Otherwise, I wouldn't need bloody glasses full time. Wow, you didn't say that, did you? Yeah, we didn't fuck around with driving safety ads. I think they should bring them back. I know they were kind of, like, distressing, but also... The fact that they were dis distressing is what made me remember them. Sang song to my petition. I sang, look in my eyes, what do you say? Nice. I hope the optician... Well, actually, I, I don't hope they replied, but imagine if they'd replied... A tumor on your retina, I'm calling ophthalmology. <laughs> Remember the animated ones that are not looking at the road for crossing? Those fucking stuck, yeah. I like the ones with the hedgehogs. You'll be king of the road. <laughs> oh my god, Merpod, that's the one. They sang a song. F Banan, even. Hell yeah. Look at that lovely Dreadnor. Yeah, maybe take Dreadnor instead of Beware. Uh, KT, I reckon. <coughs> I reckon. Do it again. <coughs> I can't. There's nothing left. I reckon. Do we have the Don't Drink and Drive adverts? Why don't WWE don't have the Don't? Why do they no longer have Don't Try This at Home adverts? Banan, even. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. To tell. I like turtles. Ding, ding, da ding. Bzz. Right, uh, I'm good without it. Mate, with all of our fucking water types, apart from, you know, um, Elastoplast, Grapplox, that's the one. We're doing pretty good. Like, with the rain up as well, with Drizzle. Why can't I get one of those? Okay, good girl. There you go. You got one. Now you can go, oh! Nah, the octopus is fighting type. It annoys me so much. It should be water fighting, it just isn't. It lives in water, though. Really annoying. Good boy, Metapod. Good boy. Oh, good lad. <laughs> Wait, did we find out if the fit from the other night was on... Where was it? What, where am I looking, Sophie Jane? Uh, ba -ba -ba. I hate the UK ad saying what happens when a seatbelt isn't worn by a woman. It's a uh, detailed description of a lungs getting punctured and a stroke is like a brain fire. Ads from the late 2000s. Jesus, mate. Yeah. To be fair, I'm a house, but I'm not a brick type. <laughs> nice. I don't want nothing. Good lad, Gizmo. 
It's like way back in the hangout. Oh, mate, come on. Don't make me fucking scroll. Uh, it's okay, I'll scroll. I can scroll. You don't have to scroll. Why? Uh, trans well known stereotypes. All trans girls love hearing good girl. Some stereotypes are true, okay? Good girl. <laughs> there you go. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, did anyone ever make that trade with that um, with that person that was looking for a... I can't remember what they were looking for. The starters, I think. Severe health anxiety. I've seen those adverts about strokes makes me anxious. Oh, bless you. Passenger and verbally judge everyone who jumps in front of people and speeds for no reason. Yeah, it's dumb. Dumb drivers are dumb. Use the search function. No. I saw somebody tweet by saying they did. Oh, good news. Good. Good. What is it? Enclosing cosplay or hangout? To be honest, I'm sad when it doesn't. I'm sad when it doesn't get sent to my DMs. Did you see? Do you guys have stall decks? If so, how do they work for you? Because they can't. Since you can't delay till the deck out. Oh well, we have a 20-minute timer on the battle in game. So what they can do is, if they make a Pokemon that is like has its defenses raised considerably and is constantly restoring its own hit points. Then, if it can't be defeated by the end, it's really short. Then by the end, you um, you'll just run out of time. And if they can make it so that you've got less Pokemon than them left when the timer runs out, then they win. Oh, the Red Lippy! Hello, hello, Red Lippy. May peak. Oh, y'all look so happy. Y'all look so happy. We stand happy people. We don't stand covered up pooper. <laughs> what is this, Ask Greg? Oh! I'll look at that in a bit, Ask Greg. In a bit. Let's get this Lunala. Lunala. Yeah, it used to be 60 minutes until they changed it for Let's Go. Yeah, Let's Go, the one that didn't even have a fucking competitive scene. Not too bad. No worries, Arazushi. Take care, my dude. I think there is music coming up. Oh, it's getting there. No, no, it was no, it was longer. It was it was 60 minutes before, and they've changed it to 20 minutes. To be fair, though, can you imagine a Don Dozo mirror match going for 60 minutes? Great to finally meet you, you see. Oh, Salty, it was great. Oh, thank you, my dude. That's very kind. Oh, the Sheen! But if it's if it's not... Right, this is the problem. If it's bad IVs, then we're not keeping it. Nope. Bad IVs. It's not the one. That should be 140. Rip. I'm so sorry, Lunala. But it's bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bruh, the pain. Uh, you can fix a Pokemon's IVs, but you can't make them less than they are. So, we need zero, so it works in Trick Room. Uh, Trick Room, for anyone that doesn't know, is that, um... It reverses the turn order of everybody, so the fastest Pokemon go last and the slowest Pokemon go first. So, if you're the one setting up Trick Room, then you, uh, you want to be slow. So that you can, uh, fully capitalize. Right. Remember, if you're in the last one, don't join the next one unless it gets to, like, a minute left and there's empty slots. Let's go. Oh, the pain. It feels so alien just going, nope, not having the shiny. Ah. Mate, best case scenario is um, we get the fucking shiny and the IVs at the same time. That'd be amazing. I'm here for shiny, what is competitive, right? 
Yeah, I'm looking for 126, 140, or 154. Good lad. Let's go! He's back, lads. Do you going to abuse G Fuel? And what do you reckon? How's it tasting for you? Remember, if you're getting G Fuel, use code ACE for 20% off. The other's helping Liam. It could have been me! I know, right? I mean, there's a 1 in 100 chance. Or a 4 in 400 chance. Misty Surge Weezing go brrr. Oh my. What a selection. Okay, so what we got going on? We got a couple of dark types on one side. We got a steel type, which resists Moonblast at least. So I think we go down the left hand side, to be honest. Fuck off with those one in a hundred chance. We're still up to Coco and found fuck all. Exactly easy. Bippity boppity. Your dad drinks coffee. Bruh. It's very nice, actually. I told thee. I told thee. It's banging. Remember the days of Dummy's like 1 in 25. Yeah, right. Someone who's had a coin flip deck in TCG can't even trust a 50% chance they're lies, mate. Tell me about it. That's not how probabilities work, right? i to figure out my cosplay I want to go as. Hey, what, what event was it again? Oh, I can't even Will-O-Wisp because um, Clang is the baby. I'm going to Nasty Plot. Should we walk by the option, sir? Tell me what is different about these images. They're the same meme in my head? Yeah. Smob ability when I roll a coin. It should always be heads, right? Right? Let's do it, lads. I need to add a picture to this. Oh, fuck off. What's this bollocks? I don't know how to do shit. There we go. Back in my day, triple A double A batteries had HP bars? Oh my god, the fucking the hate the the fucking thingy batteries. I told you how much charge was left. You need new friends. Oh, your friend's shit. Cause just sell them, get rid of them. Don't sell your friends. But sell your friends. Drinking G Fuel helped me set up for Raw last night. Mate, drinking G Fuel is banging. So your friend's DVD box set. Told another friend group about being gender fluid. Got called some slurs. Swiftly made my excuse and left. Oh! Uh, yeah, fuck those people. Well, they definitely aren't your friends then. And not a single one of them has reached out to be like, Yo, man, I Kind of sorry we did that. Or anything. Bruh. Better bing, bing, bing. I don't know where these batteries with HP bars on. I heard the Gen 5 low HP theme when they're about to run out. Did it! Love it. Need to, really need to evaluate these people before I go, yeah, they'll do. Yeah, Jesus. What knobheads. What fucking knobheads. Uh, I'm, I'm happy without this. Yeah, that's fucking awful. Loads of love for Matt in the chat. We stan her. We stan her, Matt. She's a good girl. Yo, Rach, I just seen your hair on fucking Insta. Let's fucking go. That's Pog.
No main feed post, though. Hmm? 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 Where's that? Liam, I'm in my underpants. Don't care. No excuse. <laughs> Imagine being friends with someone and, and them opening up about something like that and just being the kind of person to just be like, ah, slurs. What a fucking arse. What a bunch of arseholes. Been lurking because of work, lol. Well, you just got compliments, dude. So, you know, sort it out. Turn to the wall, plug in the charger quick, stop the console from shutting off. Oh shit, bruh! Bruh, plug it in! I'm surprised it had only woken up from charge and you didn't. Oh wait, no, I'm, I got two people confused, never mind. Mate, I wish fucking Truffle would change the name colors in chat, that'd be great. Any pronouns are Gucci, but preferring she they, there you go. I don't compliment anyone. He doesn't. In fact, he just all he did at fucking that place we went to, uh, EUIC, is bully me. What a bully! Doodly doo 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 doo. Where are my compliments? Are you dead? I did threaten to put some dirt in your eye. First thing he said to me, he walked up to me and went, I'm going to put some dirt in your eye as I'm reaching out to hug him. One nightmare. Uh, I'll let Matt explain it because it's Matt's lived experience. So we didn't went out for a bit. Gotta love that. Oh, well, welcome back, Ninja. We have missed you. It's not for you, I see. But too many TCG players get into my table every round was horrific. It was just a solid mass of people. Oh shit, bruh. Just the mass. For future, by, by the way, for future events that I'm competing at, because I realize this is a really important thing to say, although saying it now is kind of pointless because I'm not going to be at an event until at least after the summer. Um... For most Pokemon events where, actually for EUIC at least, when it's in the UK, they have that big red carpet running down the middle. After every round, I go for a piss, I come back in, and then I stand around on that red carpet basically, just lingering until the next things go up. So that's usually where I'll be found between rounds. So there's fairly big hallways between tables, which are full of people. Yeah, mate, it's chocker all the time. First thing out to Gen 5 low HP we have now is the music that plays when your Pokemon has fainted in a gym battle in Gen 8 and Legends. Yeah. That's how I find you when you first turned up. Yeah. We find you in the pisser. No, because if you come near me in the pisser, I'll spark you well out, mate. I caught Liam on his way to piss. Yeah, yeah, so he caught me on the way to piss. Joke there about your ego being on the red carpet. I don't have an ego. My ego is sensibly managed. I do have an ego, but it's fine. It's manageable. Sensibly. Can't go to the men's piss one downside of being trans. I mean, I wouldn't call it a downside unless you were going in there because you wanted to see something. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you can't go in the men's pisser, which means that you now have no pisser to go to. You have the lady pisser. Liam followed me into the pissed, into the pisser. I didn't follow you into it. I just happened to be going into it to piss, and you decided to run in front of me so that you could go in without following me. Don't do a doctor disrespect to get banned in the toilet. Not me, who was like, oh, I'm absolutely gonna, like, film while I'm at EUIC and get some footage and stuff, and I just didn't. The lady pisser, which is almost always cleaner. I mean, I would, I've would i heard things about the girls' pissers. A stage in my transition where I don't feel comfortable going to either pisser, sprint to my hotel pisser and sprint back. Mate, just use the disabled toilet. Like, the disabled toilet, people have a problem with using it, but there's no problem using the disabled toilet if there's nobody needing to use it at the time. So if you just need a quick piss, like a quick, like, one-minute piss, and there's no one in the disabled toilet, just go in. Girls' pisser doesn't have urinals. I wish all pissers didn't have urinals, because urinals are fucking weird. Urinals have nowhere to get toilet roll to dab your little, your little friend with. So how am I dabbing the little ending sprinkles off? Because shaking it don't work. Shaking it just risks getting it on your shirt. Oh, there you go, Zavi. That's for you. Basically, it isn't a fixed gender and is flexible, so it can shift. Think of it as a non-binary gender identity, I guess. There you go. 
You gotta dab it, mate. Just shake it off. No! Have you never shook it off and it's accidentally, like, fucking landed crazily, like, on your chest or something? Urinals are a stupid idea. And they stink. And if you use them, they stink. Plus, it's just indecent exposure. You're just getting the willy out in public. Oh, Steve, you're not shaking hard enough, mate, which means you're dribbling in your pants. Like, there'd be so many, like, they, there should just be fucking, all toilets should be gender neutral, they should all have an assigned security guard, and they should all have just cubicles, just stalls. All, all through it should just all be stalls. Tune that everybody fuck, it's not me problem. Well, no, when your willy is a certain size, when it's a certain length, it's a bit too long to, uh, to comfortably shake. I still need to hunt a shiny thievel. Do it. He's ignoring that. What happened? Just get your willy out then. Wait, what happened, Sophie Jane? What, what did I ignore? You sulked, and then before that you said, I didn't even notice. Sorry, my chat colors have not changed today, so I'm, I'm very struggling. I'm coming to find you in the piss of defo then. Come on then. Sort it out. When? When's it happening? Come on. Do it now. I'm about to have a bath. Definitely turn up. Prefer to find toilets without stooling, thanks. I mean, yeah, if people could learn to flush, that'd be great. Doesn't sound pleasant. It's bad to find any blood on the toilet seat. Get you really out in any context, it's a crime, but when you're in the pisser, it's fine. Which me being inappropriate. Oh, no, I thought it was very appropriate. It, it certainly got me going. Doesn't sound ple Oh, I read this. Liam just said I have a small PP. Pee -pee. That's rough, man. Emotional glory hole that allows you to hold hands with your neighboring stall during a grueling poo. Oh my god, emotional glory hole. The only thing inappropriate is these DMs aren't floating the booba. Sad times. Big Satch. <laughs> Behave, you've been home a day. Actually, I've been home. No, I've been I've been home for two days. No, I speak Italian. No one was paying any attention to me. The emotional glory hole, the E hole. Show us your E hole. Breaking the urinal code. Mate, this fucking thievel needs to die because it's just bothering everyone here. Get max lightning, you loser Pokemon. To be fair, Thievil is one of the Pokemon that lives the the example. Every generation has a bunch of Pokemon that they're introduced and they have good concepts and good designs. And then Pokemon goes, but what if their stats were shit? So they'll never be competitively viable. And um, Thievil's one of those from Sword and Shield. Same with Grapplocked. Decent design, but you'll never use one because they're not usable. Unless it's an emergency, you can't pee directly in the urinal next to someone else. Yeah, you can't share them. Why are urinal cakes called urinal cakes? Because the toilet cleaner eats them at the end of the day. That's their dinner. Hell yeah. Go over their shoulder. I've sat in a urinal and peed in one when I'm drunk. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone have this. Lucky toilet cleaner got a three cake. Honestly, forgot Thiever was a thing, right? And it's pre-evolution, Robert. Because I'm not saying it's other name. This is going to be a bit of a struggle, but we've got four lives, so Quillfish and Rotom can afford to die. But everybody else has to keep, you know, keep all of their HP, please. Yeah, boy! Game Freak are like, oh, these new Pokemon, let's make them forgettable and not put them in future games, yeah. Is it worth using Taunt on this? No, because it doesn't have... Uh, it only gets Magic Coat and... Like, Magic Coat's its only status move, so it's not worth it. And Magic Coat just bounces status moves back, so... It's kind of pointless. Misty Surge means I can't fucking... Burr. Yeah, exactly. Is 
a situation where someone peed in the urinal next to me and could see in the corner of the eye they were sneaking a peek. Was this a proper size urinal or small? Oh yeah, was it like the full length wall urinal or was it one of the little like mini toilet urinals? It fit my ass in. Look all that cake. That's a bra that gives a new meaning to urinal cake. Am I right? First time I went out drinking Manchester Pride, I woke up in a welfare tent with a love uh, Macunian tending to me, nice guy. Oh, bless. You mean tending to you as in, like, helping you feel better by, like, giving you, like, liquid, like, 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 actually doing, like, paramedic-y stuff? Or do you mean, like, tending to you in a way like, ah, shaped a bit like an egg? Oh, one of those ones. How could you climb that high? Uh, no, nah, I don't think burning it's going to be that big of a thing. I'll just use Nasty Plot. That's a urinal. Certainly a urinal. Don't perch on the edge. Oh, let's go. It's Clara's theme, right? Pops call all sorts. As long as you get yourself tested regularly. Look after yourselves, kiddos. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Never been to a baseball stadium with the trough that you piss into. Uh, uh, we have those in pubs in the United Kingdom. In some pubs. So, I've been to a baseball stadium, but I've been to a trough. It does sound like Crash Bandicoot music, which is great. Ooh! If it's a pub urinal, go and disinfect everything, right? Wow, this Lunala really didn't hit any of the Pokemon that were weakened, huh? Oh no, it did. Do you like Lunala? Yeah, it's alright. I like it enough to use it. Which is why we're here. That's why I'm here. Yeah, the piss trough is weird because, like, there's so much splashback involved with those fucking things. You can you can have the best aim in the world, but someone else's piss will splash onto you. Welcome back, man. How are you doing? Slug of Thievil, it's made mince meat of this. Listen, it had its moment, but it'll never have it again. Here we get a shiny one with the stats Leon wants. That'd be lovely. And because I'm streaming it, it means there'll be no question of like, oh, you fucking gen that fucker in. I'll be like, I have footage of us getting it. I'm alright, man. I'm a, I'm a bit tired, but other than that. I got time for maybe one or one more Dynamax adventure, if not two. Because they take about 15 minutes, don't they? A lot of splashbacks smells like piss, I wonder why. And when you get strangers piss on your god, I'm happy there is no piss trough in the women's. Imagine a women's piss trough. You gen the stream? Absolutely. That's what we did. Yay! Basically peeing in the same toilet at the same time with someone. Yeah? Some people are into that. It's pre-recorded. Yeah, I'm actually out murdering my partner. No, that's not true. Don't. No, no, little Liam. Ooh, it should have been 126. Gutted. The old Japanese squat lose. Crossing streams like in Ghostbusters. I'll prove this isn't pre-recorded. Should I get my dick out? That'll prove it. Nah, there are people in chat that could not handle that. A squatty potty? I mean, to be fair, the squat toilets allow for a more natural pooping position, because you're supposed to have your knees up, aren't you? I wouldn't complain. Oh, I know what you'd like to see. Filth. Talking about fish streams during a YouTube stream? That's what we do. Even the chat's following a script. Here we go. Remember, if you're in the last one, don't join the next one, but if you're... Good instructions, right? Matt, you don't want to see that, mate. Trust me, girl. Very good, Gizmo. Very good. You're starting to seem borderline proud of that. 
They sell the stools to bring your legs up on the loot. They do. Too gay for this. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, dear. Yeah, the streamer was like, oh, I can't see chat today with the preschool recorded stream during his murder plot. But he put in things like he came back from break and the fucking poster for no time, uh, no time to die came up. And you're like, why would you leave hints? Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, followed by Gizmo using the dog licking a lollipop emoji is cursed. That's not a dog licking a lollipop. That's a dog sipping tea. <laughs> what? It was a very sad story. I get what you mean. Dude, do 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 do. Oh, go on. Let's have it. I'm curious what would happen if someone exposed themselves on stream. Uh, they'd get banned. Once YouTube find out about it, their channel will get nuked. Now we know what Amanda wishes the emote was. Lollipop. It's not just any doggy either. That's little Ruby. That's little Rube Tube. Do -do -do -do. Oh, yeah. You can do it on kick and just get a slap on the wrist. Yeah, right. She's out like a light, mate. Fucking hell. How is she? She's out like a light, mate. Hang on. She snore. What was the name of your April Fool's doggo last year again? Oh god, I don't remember. Wasn't it funny though? Ivan. <laughs> Shitbag wanna apologize. Uh, I know shit from Gen 4 and before. Oh, that's alright. Don't you worry. As long as it's got a dark or a ghost type move, we're fine. Let's see, suppose themselves on the main audience was kids. They stood up and their pants were stuck to the chair. Stuck to the chair? That sounds like the fucking audio, that kid being like, when their mum walks in, just being like, No, I got a virus! I thought I got a computer virus, and I was getting up out of my chair, and I got up and my pants fell down. Do you remember that? Oh, God. I remember a guy was drunk on Twitch once and shaved his balls on stream. So, it's okay if it's educational. It'll educate you on the length of my... Whoa! Do remember that video, not that stream, bruh. Uh, I show meat was at WrestleMania. He was the prime bottle that was interfering in the Logan Paul match, and Randy Orton kicked him over, and then RKO'd him on the announce table. How do you get so tipsy? You shave your parts on camera. You'll find out when you're of drinking age. Well, hopefully you don't find out. Dude, 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 dude. He was in my city. Why, though? Early YouTube, way too many worse ways of detecting dodgy content. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How do I... Nope, that's the wrong button. That's a button. Oh, there you go. There's RubeTube. A slep on floor. She dead. God, I remember in the early days of, um... Oh, Amber, how you doing? Had wine at Freezer's house. Uh-oh, Amber's tipsy. Warn the neighbors. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh... I was gonna say... No, it's gone. Not actually. You've had wine and you're alright. What the fuck? Why is there a, a, a notification for me in Hangout? What the fuck? Oh, it's not anymore. I think it was just telling me that it had happened. Do, 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 do. Warn the neighbors anyway. Is our channel on a good competitive Pokemon? Only if Liam doesn't use it. Because Liam gets angry with it. Never actually heard of Ice Show Speed into WrestleMania? You're lucky. 
Do do do. Get rid of Fox Cup right, left and center. I mean, it's been doing that for like 10 years. Hello, Mr. Mash. I'm alright. How are you doing? Oh. I see. I'm with you, Gizmo. I'm with you. Copy your right for a short jingle. Stupid, isn't it? Is that done with the Kyogre and Regulation G? No! Pelipper's the best drizzle mon right now. Because Pelipper isn't weak to grass and Rillaboom and Ogrepon are everywhere and they're not going anywhere either. Oh, glad to hear it, Mr. Mash. Do something bad? He's done a few stupid things. Because that's how he gets his audience. He does silly things and his audience wait for him to do the next silly thing. Please don't be around bed now. You would be privileged. Don't even. Do do do. Do 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 with your short ass. My ass isn't short. My ass is the tallest part of me. <laughs> I think Groudon is going to do away, do away with Torkoal. Oh, Groudon's going to do insane with Torkoal. Can I join the next one? If you get in. Yeah, there's lots of false copyright strikes at the moment. I think I've got one today, actually, for uh, one of my Metal Gear Solid streams. Someone's claimed the codec conversation in one of them, and I'm like, you can't claim a codec conversation. That's stupid. So it's fine. I'll just appeal it after the stream. People are the big dumb. The big dumb. I wouldn't say YouTube's thorough. I would say YouTube is a broken system that's easily manipulated by bad actors. So... Once they figure out a way to uh, actually punish people for doing false claims, we'll be in a better place. You want Snake Eater soon? Nah. Plants a Pokemon, and I might, I might do a very quick playthrough of Soulstorm on easy mode. Just because I haven't played it in ages and I want to play it. Uh, it used to be bad because the person who did the copyright strike would get ad revenue for a bit. Yeah, and now it goes into escrow until it's resolved, so you you don't lose anything in the long run. Wait, punish? Yeah, punish. Because a false copyright claim should be seen as fraud. Might remember yearly put X and Y. I want to hear that one guy in the game does PSA while on the train, right? Dean Dobbs. Just to ruin YouTube videos by removing audio or blocking the video. I mean, I will say that that is some, like if it's a legitimate claim by a legit like if it's a legitimate content I declaim, then they have every right to ruin the video because it's been you know the music's been used without the permission. So like, if it's a legitimate company saying we own that and we don't give you permission to use it, then it's fair. You know, you have to kind of go fair play. But when it's someone who's not even affiliated with that company who's striking your content, that's when it's a problem. Yeah, false claims can destroy your channel. It's mostly rectifiable now because you you basically make a big kick kick up a big stink on Twitter about it, and it forces YouTube to look into it. Uh, yeah, switch from Copperaja to this is a good shout. So let Claude Isle take the uh, the scum tank. I'll think about how people were doing some deviant shit in the comment sections on weird videos, and then YouTube only did something about it after somebody made a video. Yeah, yeah, YouTube's very bad at actually looking at things. They're very much like, oh, our machine learning system is so great. And it's like, it's just not. Three deaths, just got to the route between the water trial, got myself a Poriot. Nice. The tank may not have a dark move, but it's pretty solid mine. Yeah, exactly. It should be fine. Unless it dies to this max darkness. Oh, we're okay. It's alive. It's alive! Yeah, yeah, the YouTube kids is because pedos were lurking, exactly. Is it easy to claim something because it really shouldn't be? Uh, I'm not going to answer that because I don't want people getting ideas. <laughs> to be honest. Jen! Hell yeah! Well, shit, it's the time again. Hell yeah! Thank you for the 20 months, my dude! Get some hype for Jen in the chat. How are you doing? The tank is cursed. 
Yeah, Galarian Linen is great for Lunala. But, but it's it's both good and bad, because it's good because it gets that super effective stab moves, but also it's weak to Moonblast. But other than that, it's all right. I was being overly dramatic today, according to my sister. What did you do? What happened? That doesn't strike me as the Metapod that I know. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Mm. Let's go ground, baby. She ordered something on Amazon and forgot to change payment details. So I had 120 come out of my account. And you were rightly annoyed, I assume. And she was like, oh, you're being melodramatic. And you're like, dude, that's my fucking money. Slow day at work. Rip. Reminds me of a parody video of Bugs Bunny being a fucked up person and Warner Copyright claiming it to hell. So now Bugs Bunny is canonically a USDA registered certified weirdo. Oh. We're sold. This can go towards last year's birthday present. What? Yeah, YouTube Kids is a weird system. Do, 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 do. Santa Conda gonna fuck us all up. What we can do is Sand Tomb for cons consistent residual damage. This is actually, you know what? We made a mistake here because we have three Pokemon weak to ground. Shit. How much is birthday present if 120 is going towards it, right? Oh, it's alright, lads. I've taken one of the hits. We're good. That's when the money transferred was being unreasonable when it's literally like it takes seconds. Just tell her you did just tell us you did it on purpose, sister pod. Sandicon is one of my favorites, but now Dynamax is gone, it isn't viable, which makes me sad. Yeah, I can't really do anything without its that Gigantamax. Weakness isn't real, it's only double damage of going by TCG rules. Fair. I'm thinking, you know, there's an age limit for being an adult. What if they make it so that if you're over 18, you can't go to YouTube Kids? Uh, it would be bad for the content creators, because content creators would lose... Like, a lot of older people still watch kids' shows. Like, you know, like, things that would be considered made for kids, like Pokemon and stuff. Like, a lot of the po videos that go on Pokemon's official channel are marked as made for kids, which is why there's no comment section. So, if they... If they made it so that things that are on the YouTube Kids app weren't viewable by adults, then that would mean that they, the creators of that stuff would lose out on a lot of revenue. So it'd probably kill some people's business. Just put a couple of swear words in there. In Pokemon. Yeah, that would go down well. Imagine being a parent and you can't turn on YouTube for your kids. Yeah. Uh, who still hasn't gotten Ray Ray for Dynamax Adventures? Rip. Couldn't be Jen. Fucking go, Pikachu. That's Captain Pikachu now. Do, 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 do. Here we go, baby. Captain since where? Well, it's not the same Pikachu, but Ash has left the anime, so the new the new main Pikachu in the anime is called Captain Pikachu because he's the captain of an airship and he's fucking baller. And I didn't get him in Pokemon Go, and I'm really sad. I'm the captain now. Where there was a threshold where it can be made for kids and adults. Well, basically, there is a threshold. You either mark it as made for kids, or you mark it as not made for kids. And that's the threshold, because then kids and adults can watch it. Yeah, Pokemon Horizons is baller. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go! Do -do 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 -do. Oh my, I've done a die. Top of that, I've had more mess thinking I'm struggling with bills. Can I ask for the money back? It's like, no, I have the principal, I just want my money back. Oh my god, why are they not getting it? So I might be a sop again. Why? What are you saying, girl? 
What are you saying, gal? Stream, I'm getting a doctor's note. What, stream related or not? Yeah, no system can be perfect. Like, like, I think one thing people don't take into account, like, YouTube needs to do a better job of being transparent with their systems and stuff and, like, actually solving these kinds of problems that have been prevalent for, like, the last 10 years. But also, do remember that so much content is uploaded to YouTube every day. Like, billions of hours worth of content are uploaded to YouTube every day. And there is only so much time they can, you know, they can have people manually reviewing stuff. It's it's a tricky one, you know? Mepod, it's your money. Why are you making such a big deal out of it, right? I need to sneeze. There we go. Beautiful. Bless me. Streams help cheer me up. Thank you, love you all. Oh, get some love for Matt in the chat. Hell yeah. Streams been banging. She was on a doctor note staying home today. Ah, fair. Yeah, if you want to see how cool... We have some episodes of Pokemon Horizons to watch tonight. Maybe after I've had a bath, I'll... we can watch them. Metapod's so selfish, wanting me... Wanting their own money back? Like, I can't even believe them. Insane, right? Oh, God, Kitty. Kitty says, my encounter with Groomer was, when I was younger was in a cutesy MMO. Yeah, you never know where they'll be fucking lurking. Change my Amazon password, then they can't use my Prime. Do it, do it, do it. Be petty. Watch One Piece. I'll watch One Piece live action that features the wonderful Emily Rudd. That's a good shout. Oh, Horizons is fantastic. I like Horizons more than the old anime. Like, and I grew up with the old anime. Like, I've watched fucking everything they had going. And Horizons already has me hooked. It's got more of a Digimon vibe to it, in terms of, like, the story seems, like, more linked, I guess. Bruh, what is that? Oh! Let's go. We are not winning this. And all his Disney Plus privilege? Damn. I don't watch Amazon Prime videos. Uh, you go to Prime Videos app and watch them. I think. Hello, Dracos. I'm doing lovely. How are you doing? My Sandaconda don't want none unless you like bum cum. Uh, I don't think... Oh, actually, I'll take this just so I can use glare on turn one. I know it means I lose a lash out, but I feel like... I'm gonna die, and we can't afford for me to die. Whatever floats your boat, Katie. Whichever one gets you the most riled up. <laughs> Hooked on the Orville, so can't lose it now, bruh. Treat them. Oh, wait. It... Let's go. I don't think Disney Plus is getting deleted. Just got home from Zarens. Glad to see you. Made it time to stream. Hey, I'm glad to see you, Dracos. Glad to see you. Do, 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 do. Misty Surge D's nuts. Am I right? Okay, how about... Ooh, I got that Dynamax Energy, baby. Uh. Let's do Glare. Oh, I want to use Glare, but then... What does G-Max Sandblast do again? Sandstorm damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. So it's 300 hours, but I finally got the FF7 Rebirth Platinum. Oh, well done. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Brother, eh. Let's go. Let's see if we can get through this. Lockdown. How many lives we got left? Does anyone know? 300 hours? That's insane, though, dude. That's fucking baller. Get some congrats in the chat for Ciala. That's no mean feat. Watch the anime about 170 episodes. Yeah, we're getting there. Two lives? Nice. Thank you, Doodle. And the grand name, Ray Mysterio for Hall Lucha, and just uh, about fit with the character limit. Mate, I usually go with just Mysterio. But valid. We can go with Dirty Dom. We have infinite lives, just don't die to test it. Nice. It's interesting for the next, but I don't think I can do a late night for the fifth in a row. Oh, don't worry, this is the last one. This is the last adventure. We are, I'm wrapping up after this because I need a bath. And I need a big wee. 
Catch up to episode 1100 by this weekend. Jesus, right. You've been flooring it. 1100? Already? Wait, what? Wait, what? Tell what? Uh, Sophie says, Rach, she loves you. Can't check at the moment because I'm on my phone, but I correct thinking there is a gym or fitness channel for the uh, Inlima Safety Discord. There is. So, yeah, if you're doing some gym gains and gym progress and you're feeling like, I want to show off my gym progress, go ahead. Just keep it safe for work, yeah? No exposed genitalia or anything like that. <laughs> uh, so, Rach says she loves you and all. She says, awesome. Well, she did an ooh face by mistake, but then she changed it to the ooh woo face. Uh, Sony says, I mean NXT. Wait, what did you say before that? You said, considering staying up for NXT. Oh, oh, I thought you meant next Dynamax adventure. Blinders are back clicking emotes. Damn. No exposed genitalia, literally 1984, right? Ooh, ooh, right. Let's kill this Pokemon called Lu Lunal. Oh, nothing. Try to any pixel or anything more. Oh, that's all right, mate. You know, just you know. Here we go. Saw the pause up. I thought it was the Uwu. Lose Lana. We're gonna lose. Go on, lefties. Nice. You take that damage. I mean, there's a chance. Is there? There's a chance. Is there? There's a chance. Is there? Stop it. I I'll lower its special attack real quick. I should have done that all three turns, to be honest. I was shy to pick. Still, Liam pulled mine up and people simped. Honestly, changed my outlook a bit. Bruh. Stay up don't worry. I bet you bloody will. All night long. Way. That's why they call it the Grand Oak. Because it never falls. If we all crit and it keeps missing, we could do it. This is true. Go on, me too, Mash. Crit, let's go. Nice. The Major Oak. Try and improve and use it as a way to mark my progress and hopefully help the body confidence issues. Yeah, go for it, lad. Because the thing is, if you post anything, like, let's say you post an early gym progress picture where you're not looking, you're looking a way that you don't think is ideal and you're trying to improve upon. If anyone in that chat says anything negative about you, they will be fucking reprimanded. Because it's there for people to be proud of themselves and for people to support each other on their journeys. Because it's fucking hard, dude. So anyone being a dick gets fucking annihilated, basically. That's a nice lash out, baby. Oh shit! Is Mrs. Rain still up? Yeah, it is. Shit! I forgot. I just want to talk to them. Exactly. I'll fight anyone being an asshole. Absolutely. Oh no! We died. GG, everyone. Had a mama mode brought out today. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I'll do one more. I'll do one more of these. Can't end on a loss. That's disgusting. Bruh. Bruh. Not even a sheen, mate. Can't end on a loss. Let's go to Texaco. There's a PokeTuber out there not using the short streaming. You are now my fave. Thank you, thank you. We tried short streaming, but I got very angry very quickly. Because <laughs> it brings out a very juvenile part of the community, and I, I can't handle that. I'm too old and grumpy for that. If I get my game ready to time, that's all right. Remember, if you're in the last one, don't join this one. Let other people join, unless it gets to like a minute left and there's no one in. Persian could have been shy potentially because the shiny is identical to normal. No, it's not. It has very, very bright pink ears on the inside. That's time for me to be a sap. Fucking love y'all. Just want to help bring people up and I appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. That's what we do. We hate when people feel shit. Because we're here to make people happy. People are being rude in the server. I literally remember go full protective mode like I do with kid out. Nice. Nice.
Have me. Oh, I've read this. Format is horrible. The stream is so small, but everything is bigger than the video you want to watch. But it's for the uh, yeah. The short form content is like I get it because people are using it because it's it's apparently really good for views. Apparently not for me, but um, I'm like I, I'd rather I'm I'm more of a quality over quantity. So I'd rather have viewers that I enjoy talking to than have viewers that are just on mass but also driving me fucking insane. With inane constant questions like, Who do you think would win in the fight? Latios or a George Foreman lean mean grilling machine? And I'm like, I don't care, man. Ask me how my day was or something. Hoodie on Unala? Lunala? Yeah, probably. A Lunala hoodie would be kind of sick. Hey, Liam, don't you dare, mate. Don't you dare. <laughs> Stop this! George Foreman, hands down. He's so proud of it, he put his name on it. So I'm too scared to share my dream progress. I know how poorly out of shape I am, and I just can't pass that. And that's okay though, Purple Dragon Arrow, at the same time. Like, if you don't want to post anything, it's not an obligation. It's just there as a, it's just there as an option for the people that are like, Yeah, I could, I could post this. You know, I, never, never feel compelled to post if you're not comfortable, you know? Oh, battered sausage, yes please. Maybe I've asked Sophie nicely. Whee! Get it? Uh, nobody take this jinx, by the way. There is no benefit to taking this to Lunala. Let's just use it as an excuse to mow down a jinx. Wouldn't know, because I can't use the damn channel. What channel? The fitness... Oh, yeah, because you're too young. Yeah, because we, di we didn't want people being weird in it. We gotta be careful, Matt, uh, Manon, because in that in that channel there might be there might be a lady in there with exposed midriff, and we gotta be careful, you know. There might be someone in tight gym shorts showing hella cake. Gotta be careful. So no excuse to use Jinx. I'm glad it's not in Scarlet and Violet. When the short stream thing happened, I left a few times because the other chat was asking the weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you. I was like, this format's gonna do more harm to my channel than it does good. Because all the people I like are going to leave the community because they're like, I can't deal with the shit. And all the people that I don't want to be in my streams are going to be there going, Oh, what? what's the most strongest in the world? Paper or hammers? <laughs> oh my days! Oh, I love a scavalier. Oh, escavalier. How do I get adult roles so I can see the fitness channel? I think you just have to have your age on Discord as over 18, don't you? Like, yeah, it's based on... How old you are? Yeah, it also it also prevents anyone underage post themselves in the channel as well, which we very much don't want to see. I'm not like the other YouTubers. I don't want to see that. I think my helping hand carried that. Oh, absolutely. Defo. Helping hand, Max Flutterby from a big boy. Yeah, nobody take this or I'll be ashamed of you. Matt? You with us, gal? There we go. <laughs> Should be there for everyone, but can be asked by people of age. Yeah, exactly. Egg Zachary. Uh, I guess we go poison because Lunala has no psychic type moves. But they're immune to fairy. I can't tell what poison type that is. You lot can all tell, and I can never tell. Mano doesn't think it's weird, or he uh, or doesn't think it's illegal to post 70 year old's gym progress. I don't want to see. As, as, a, as an adult. I do not want to see a 17-year-old's gym progress. Because remember, a lot of gym clothing is either very tight or quite minimal. I don't want to see that on someone that's not an adult. And if you ever meet an adult that wants to see that, report them to the local authorities, because they need to get the fuck out of life. Oh, go on. Tune. Uh, if it's that important to you, you can wait. <laughs> A 
Let's go. I'll post a post Discord. So for the ice going advance. Oh, that'd be silly. I agree. Chris Hansen does too. Have a seat. No thanks. I'll have a hamburger. Honestly, my goal in the gym is just to feel a bit comfortable myself. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, what? Not everyone's going to the like. That's another thing people don't seem to get as well. Like, not everyone is going to the gym for the biggest possible gains. Some people are more power to them, but some people are like, I just want to get rid of a bit of podge that I've got. Yeah, I'm with Rach on this one. Bit overkill there. Workout more as I get the cake, you know. I just need to find a workout for that. Squats. Squats every day. Squats all the time. Squats, 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 and more squats. The whole point of gym pro show is your body progress. Yeah, that's not sarcasm. That's literally, you, you go to the gym to tone and build muscle, often in your abdominal region, or in your arms, or in the booty. So, part, you know, it, it doesn't make, really make sense to be like, here's a picture of me in some baggy clothes. <laughs> Look at the progress, and you're like, we can't see the progress, but okay. Reminds me of a shirt I saw, I work out because I like to eat, nice. I thought going to the gym was to be more fit. Well, no, not everybody goes there because they want to be more healthy in themselves. Some people go to the gym because they want their body to look in a way that they feel is better. And the health just... The, the improved health might just be a, a, a more of a, a byproduct of that. Uh, I'm not going to take the gloom, but someone could. I would if I was Jonathan, but he didn't. Well, not sorry, a side effect. More, I'd say byproduct makes more sense. Let's take the normal type. Bra, is that a low bunny? Lop there. Well, for some people, improved health is the main thing, and the improved, you know, body is a side is the the byproduct. And some people go to the gym just to get aggression out of the system. Yeah, Sonny's absolutely right. That's why steroids are a thing, even though they're unhealthy as hell. Yeah, they are unhealthy as hell. Uh, some people use the gym to help offset side effects of medications. Yeah, lots of them cause weight gain, so that can help. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, side effect is more of a bad reaction. Yeah, exactly. Can she eat something soon? Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Look after yourself, mate. Go eat, mate. Go eat. Bad girl. Not like our Sophie Jane, who was a good girl, and our Rachelin, who was a good girl, and our Princess Katie, who was a good girl, and our Night Angel, who was a good girl. Good girls eat, Matt. Good girls eat. Especially once every 24 hours. Well, that's using no. Can <laughs> lose some weight, so I can have surgery. Oh, mate. Well, here's hoping you can both lose the weight and the surgery goes successful. Exactly. Katie's got it in one. Your meds these days might help with this. Will cause a million things, including death and exploding. But it might help. Yeah, basically. New job, be able to afford a decent gym membership. Nice. Lady D was the best lady of all. Wait, what? No oh, Night Angel, have you not eaten in the last 24 hours? <gasps> she a bad girl. Uh, Sophie says Night Angel and Matt eat food. Now. Hit by two of my meds, giving me the weight gain. Sadly, our only thing is the weight gain. Fuck my mental health. <laughs> That's the fucking kicker, isn't it? My fave. What? I'm excited for 12 hours. My favorite is when, um, when it's like, oh, take this med for your depression. 
do be careful though, because this med may cause suicidal thoughts, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spina being a good girl, I forgot to have my meds an hour ago. Whoops. Oh, everyone's been bad. Hubby coming home with food, and he's gonna kill a spider. This is where he's got. This is where he comes home with deep fried tarantula. <laughs> They're all being back between the vets for three days? Yeah, basically. Four days. I'm an adventure, an adventure with people spamming Earth moves on flying Pokemon. Not even bots. Melvin's in an adventure with Grifters. What the fuck? Griefers, Liam. Griefers! There you go. Fucking boo! I'm not going to kitchen with a slider on the loose. <laughs> I'll give you a slider. I took the tablet now, Liam. Estrogen. Or as me and the trans friends call it. Titty Skittles. That's fucking mint. Babe. Uh, Princess Katie calls her estrogen pills titty skittles. That's amazing. That's up there with they bay for um, non-binary boyfriend or girlfriend. We're getting a weeping bell. Wait, bell sprout. We're getting bell sprout community here. Let's fucking go. Oh, I was there like weeping bell. I'm I'd have been so mad. I've not actually been excited for our community day in a while. But it's a common trans femme joke for estrogen. I love it. I think it's great. <gasps> bell sprout. Very happy. Bellsprout community, yeah, let's go. Oh, no, we don't think you made it up, but, like, we, we love it, regardless. Very hobby, the with it, hobby won't find it. That's okay. That's okay. Just make sure you eat something. Make sure you let hobby feed you something big and thick. <laughs> Went to one of those issues, new ADHD meds are starting to help, but might be causing me issues with my blood pressure. Yeah, they are bad for blood pressure. Well, not bad for blood pressure, but they can affect it. So function and maybe die, or no function but live. Ah, function and die is the good one. Uh, I'm gonna fucking ruin this thing's special attack. Thick and meat like a steak or a pile of sausage rolls. Yeah, medium rare toast. I don't know if trans masks have a name for testosterone that's as good as titty skittles. I don't know. I guess you could have dick tax. <laughs> nice. Uh, one of my trans mass friends calls their testosterone shots man juice. <laughs> Love it. Just call it hair tonic. Testosterone should be vitamin dick. I like that better, actually. Except rare equals raw. I like medium rare. But I've never thought of it like that. kind of right. Run and got myself some toast. Well, it's bread. But close enough. <laughs> Medium rare toast. They shout it when they say man juice, if not, that's a missed opportunity. They're coming up with dick tacks off the dome is incredible. Thank you, thank you. I've, if, if I have any skills at all, it's my quick wit. <laughs> it's not, no one believes that. This is true. You will never convince Rising Star Chris that you have quick wit. He's known you too long. Let's do it. Tough toast and golden color. Like a marshmallow. Bread. That's right, now Andrew, you're already naughty today anyway. You posted that picture of your hair dye and there was no booty. You didn't show it. <laughs> Home from my wine party. Oh no, Amma's bladdered. Call the feds. What's the best bread? Uh, Warburton's toasty. Because A, it's tasty, and B, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's in the advert, which automatically gives it like plus 10 street cred. Showed Sophie hair? Mate, you should have done. Cause dead good. That's fucking fire, my dude. The pink, the curls, the exposed breath to stop this. <laughs> to be fair, it's long enough to stop this. I'm giving people ideas on how to spice up their own Twitter accounts. Sophie around, I won't blame Liam for having quick wit, but downright premature. Very good. Very good. The curls are natural. I know, I know. Fucking hell. Some people are killed for that. I get a little wholemeal farmhouse bread. I'm gonna have a little sugar waffle after the stream and it's gonna make my serotonin level go through the roof. Then I'm gonna bone down. Maybe. 
Come on, Lunala, get dead, mate. I'm killing your special attack. So unless you crit, you're doing nothing. The curls are natural, as are the boobies. Check these out. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of the curls. Took me years to love them. Oh, we're proud of them. We're proud of them for you. We're going to see them in person at fucking MCM May. Scottish bread makes the best toast, but it's not good for sandwiches. Oh! Oh, thank you, thank you, Jonathan. Plus, it'll be summer in the UK, so it's going to be very, very warm. Rachel's like, oh, don't worry, I'm packing the tiniest tank tops for this journey. Don't you worry. You're not going to be able to not look. <laughs> Thought it was a common term. What? Wait, what term? What'd I miss? Toasty! I'm going to cry after stream? Why? Wait. Doorstop bread. Oh, I've seen doorstop bread. It's thick as hell. It's not on your Insta. It's on your Insta story, which is lame. Take new main feed pictures, dude. Hey, having a fro as a kid. I uh, never wore it out. I was wondering my mum straighten my hair. She never did, though. Yeah, but look how sick your fro looked at the weekend. It looks fucking baller, dude. It suits you a lot. Like we said, the drip at the weekend was fucking fire. Hey, Liam. Hey, Rach. My Insta is almost entirely Sophie's feed. Mate, what a great Insta. Favorite Insta movie is Woo because Homecoming Warrior. I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh-oh. Your favorite, Jason. Keep killing things. No more light screen. I forgot the character's first name. Could it be Wu? Oh, dearie me. Okay. Was that? That's got to have been a crit, surely. No, Liam. It's just a Mr. Mime. Wait. So, what was the Hey Liam about? I don't. I don't get it. What? I thought you were going to tell me something. Yeah, I really like it now. But like Rachel said, it takes years to get to that. Sometimes we're surrounded by girlies who pin straight hair that blows artistically in the wind. May. The Croydon facelift. Oh, Zootopia's banging. Or as it's called in the UK for copyright reasons, Zootropolis, which we all hate. Oh, you put that emoji? I did not see that. That actually didn't come up. It just said, hey, Liam. And then I got two of the... Uh, thingy emojis. I'm on live chat as well. That's funny. Really, really? Who uses NPC teammates and sword and shield raid battles are? I don't know. Oh, that's the story I was going to tell, which is good, because we're nearly at the end of this one, this stream. But, um, yesterday... Cool. That's cool. Thank you. Sorry, I was just literally just started telling a story. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose to stop my train of thought. <laughs> I was like, guys, let me tell you the story I've remembered. And you were like, by the way, interrupting Sophie says. Okay, well, that's cool. Everything's cool. Love you. Um, oh, my God. I died as well. Have we just lost? <gasps> no more deaths, lads. No more deaths. We can't afford it. Yeah, so the story... Um, I, I'd done a few Dynamax adventures with NPCs, hoping to find Lunala in, like, a Lunala to pin so I can Dynamax hunt it again. And I was like, I wonder, I need to check what moves it has, actually. So I checked it out on Cerebi, and then I noticed in big letters, after doing about three or four of them offline, um, Shield Native, which means that you can only get Lunala in Pokemon Shield to appear. And I was like, shit! And then Sophie laughed at me. And then I, then I logged on to my friend's Wi-Fi when we went to their house and started searching on there. And then we did it. And then basically I, um, so I did a few online ones and Soph didn't realize that I was doing that because you could fight, you could end up in someone else's Dynamax adventure if you go anything goes. And um, so I could end up in a Lunala raid. It's just very low odds. It's like the third one I did online. Boom. Lunala. I did two Mesprits and then Lunala. And I was just like, mate, that was stupidly quick to get that. And now it's on my list, so I can do it whenever. Nice. 
That was the story I was meant to tell three hours ago. Uh, you can only find a Dynamax Adventure for it in Shield if you are not connected to the uh, if you're not connected to the internet with Sword. If you're on Sword, you need to go online and go with anything goes, like search for anything, and you have a chance of entering someone's Lunala raid, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah. No dramas. Uh, 162 speed is too much. It should be 140. That's probably 31 IVs. Gen 8 sucks. Well, don't watch a stream of it then. That's a bit dumb. <laughs> Why are you coming to streams of something you don't like? That's just dumb. Go do something not dumb. Yeah, it's easier to find in Shield because you can actually encounter it in the Dynamax adventures. Yeah. Same with Solgaleo in Sword is easier to find because you can actually find it. I'm a masochist. Oh, well, have, have fun sandpapering your arsehole tonight. Uh, so we don't need any of those. GG, let me save Lunala's location real quick. I know what I'm doing today. Do it. It's the same with, um... It's the same with the Ultra Beasts and stuff. Like, even if you've not unlocked the Ultra Beasts yet, you can still find them in other people's Dynamax adventures. But on that note, we're ending stream because I need to piss and because I want to go in the bath before it's stone cold. STONE COLD! I want to do this to learn the Pokedance where matching clothes to the version of the Pokemon Colored Games. Oh, mate, do it. Do it. Soph's done a few of the Pokedancers over on TikTok. And it's banging. And she's done them in tiny clothes. It's lovely. Right, on that note... <laughs> I'll see you all on Thursday for Arceus, I think, probably. Gotta get some more Pokédex and all that. But have a good one. I'm not taking a piss in the bath, man, on. You have to pay extra for that. Right, see you later, everybody. Thank you for all being here. You're all cool. Brrr.